let's start with a recap so we had some interesting things last week well the past several weeks uh Chen Chen was a bit confused and i presume he's still confused up to this week about what what happened because the group is evil <laughs> <laughs> I, I am literally <laughs> Literally But then again Last week was Quite uh, An interesting thing Okay Just to give an update For Kenis To be on track Well he, I will leave it to Kenis To Tell all of you Where he has been And What has happened But The gist of it uh, The adventure has proceeded Quite uh, Far The The whole party Was given a uh, uh, grant to a land title called East Grove, even though it's not in the East. <laughs> and the party started growing stuff. Stuff. Mm, that's a good, that's an interesting way to put it. Okay. And <laughs> at the same time, the, the party has gone through several adventures. I have uh, managed to get rid of the werewolf infestation and encroachment and they managed to got themselves phased out <laughs> freezing okay before coming back in after a time lapse and managed to get rid of another infestation on their farm so upon discovering of the infestation on the farm and <coughs> gotten rid of the attackers so this is where we start our adventures with the discovery of loot from all the the players themselves Let's see uh, I presume the screen is changing. Yep. All of you. Yeah, yep. yep. <coughs> Let me know if everything is okay. Yep, I'm okay. Wow, it's still being really slow. Has the map loaded for you guys? Uh, yeah. It's loaded for you. For me. Yeah. Huh. I think I think you you and <coughs> you, you and Mobius went went to look for the marshal, right? Yeah. No, it's not far. Westbound. It's not far. Westbound. We're going down map. <laughs> All right. Um, I I I can work with this if uh we are to load to another map. I'm good. So okay, um, I do not know what happened between the two, uh, the, uh, the two of you because last, I think we left, you guys were just uh, finished your battle, and was discussing on the loot management, and the reward management, <laughs> which uh, outside of game we already decide. Yeah, uh, I'll give. I, I have given everything to Carl and Camille. I only took. Uh, hello, uh, Mo uh, Mobius, you're, you're breaking up. Hello, hello. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we have, I have given all of the loot to Carl and Camille. They are identifying it. I only took the book with me. So, this is where the story was left last week. Uh, the loot distribution was finalized and then uh, some discussion was done in order to proceed further so there were discussions if I recall correctly about uh, potentially selling off some of the precious stones in order to get some gold in order to better arm yourselves after the close encounter for the tanker mm -hmm. that went down and then was revived and then 
was went <laughs> was attacked and went down again and then revive again. <laughs> so <laughs> emotional damage. That's why that's why you always go into the battle with your party. <laughs> Instead of alone. The, the goal I'm is... not alone. <laughs> Yep, that is true. I was with Chen Chen. Yeah, that is true. Yep. Uh, the, the goal is technically not for better armament, it's for psychological treatment. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> but but the, the best thing is, a ghost can be frightened of you. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> okay, I wonder if uh, Morbius has reverted back to his old form. It's only for one minute. The form okay. is only for one minute. Once the uh, battle ends, it's already reverted back. Alright, sure, sure, sure. Alright. <coughs> and so, this is where we start our adventure from the last session, in which uh, all of you have recovered, more or less intact, except for Chen who took some rest, took a long rest, well, actually he's trying to recover from the emotional damage mm. <laughs> in, the, in the farmhouse. Okay. Some of you notice the the plants, well, the, the stuff that was growing, even though it's only a month old, was quite potent with the farm farm hands, and also from Leroy. <laughs> so he was suddenly singing in a, some reggae songs for some reason, no idea why. So yeah. even he's not even a, a Jamaican. <laughs> 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 so now on top of the pier, you notice a new arrival, uh, somebody who came in from the boat, and you notice he's still armored and armed to the teeth, even though you cannot see his teeth. <laughs> So, what do we do from, from here? Time and the Hala are going to the marshal. Yes. Alright. Yeah, me, me, me and Kamil are busy identifying stuff. Lah. And, okay. yeah, including the silver dagger. Including the silver dagger? Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. So... <coughs> The uh, party will be split into this thing, uh, into two. Camille, okay, let, let's go with the the main party that's identifying stuff. Camille, uh, there's Kenny's there or the dogs on the pier. And also Carl. What are you identifying? Yeah, I think the smooth dagger. The, yeah. So he took some time, about one minute, to identify the silver dagger and discovered that it this is the the silver dagger that you got from the loot uh, sorry the werewolf's lair actually ah okay the artisanal silver dagger or something the big very very artistic carvings oh yes uh artistic carvings that you have is the silver dagger is just a normal dagger. Oh, but... Okay. What? Hello? Oh. Okay, but the... The carving itself for the... The sheath of the dagger... Seems to be made of intricate... Stones. Mm -hmm. Inlaid on it. Ooh! Ooh! Well, you have an idea that... <coughs> Especially Camille, it is something <coughs> worth of, of value there. Yeah. Ooh, kaching kaching! What's yeah. that? Yeah! But it can be doused with poison, so <laughs> it can put the dagger with poison constantly. We don't know that. We're not even there. Yeah, that's just. Speaking out loud as a player. Diamond, ruby, white stone. It seems, it seems to be clear in color. It's a diamond. Cubic zirconium. 
<laughs> oh, we never know. <laughs> you yeah, really we, we, bring to jeweler. Yeah, me and Camille are cheering. Like, Yo, we got more loot! Yay! Suddenly, it's plastic. Okay, anything else that you are going to identify? I think that's all. I cannot think of anything that we missed out. <coughs> yeah, I think that's all. Did you change? Uh, Camille, have you got anything? I just look for a safe place on the farm to keep my extra stuff. Well, the the cottage I, seems secure enough. Yeah, I'll I'll be holding on to the other loot, sir. Then I'll be hanging out in the cottage itself. Alright. So <coughs> okay. So for Kenneth, uh, what do you want to do? You want to join them? Or guiding the farm? Kenneth is typing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna take a short rest. Yeah. Alright. So, short rest. Guard the farm. Uh, guard the farm. And do it accordingly. So, uh, we for hmm? Morbius and Leona. You will be proceeding to see the marshal. <coughs> yes. So the two of you will be at the farm. The farm is located in here. Yes. Okay. And mm. it will take some time for you to walk, 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 and to see the marshal. Ooh, takes an hour. Yep. So while we're walking, um, I'm gonna check with uh, Vincent, and uh, this is going to be in the split party. <laughs> all right, all right. So GM, way, follow I'm, through. Follow through. I'm still reading the book. <clears throat> all right. So anywho, uh, as we walk along, I look at Morb and tell him that. Um, Vince, how well do you know about other planes? As far as from my study, I'll go for history GM to see what do I know. Um, okay, roll history. I do not know. I do not have a familiar grasp on other planes except for some well, may say. <laughs> well, one thing that you might know, there are other planes that exist. Uh, but then again, I think you skip some of the classes <laughs> during your studies or you are playing truant or you are looking for some other subjects that interest you. It, it is not of my interest. Uh, so okay. I know that other planes but I do not know that very well. Right. Um, here's the thing. Um, there's a, another magic school out there. Um, it's called Strixhaven. And they have a lot of books, they have a lot of classes and whatnot. And it's pretty fancy. Um, I'm sure you can go there to get more stuff. And it's not on these planes. The reason why I'm telling you this is that the coin that you um, that you gave me it has mm -hmm. a similar uh, how do I put this it comes from my planes and they're not good they're essentially the boogeymans of my realm mm. so you're not from here is it well, I've been around, but I I originated from another place. The point is, this group of parties or this group of um, sorry, this organization, they're not good. They're how do I put this? Mm, they're mostly assassins and bad bad people. So, I got no idea how they got in here and what they're doing. 
and if it's involving the uh, town and whatever character is doing I am putting my guard up like let's just say that there are a bunch of assassins that want to kill people and yeah we should just be wary about this so basically you tell me that's something you have a mark on your head is it mark on, mark on. no not really it's just that i know their organization from my other dealing uh, essentially where i come from we're a bunch of guilds like there's 10 of us and it was kind of chaotic when I last left. I don't really remember much. But from what I remember, there was a dragon that wanted to become a god or something like that. But yeah, I I, I don't remember. Went into the portal with my mother and kind of lost a bit of memory for a while. So yeah. Okay. And then, is there anything else that you are not telling us? Well, let's just say that I'm not who I say I am and I don't look the way I look. Wink. Time, time. <laughs> time to grasp if there's anything concealed within the words. <laughs> Inside check? <laughs> yeah. You notice the... Uh... There are hidden layers of the message that uh, the person in front of you is trying to to tell. Uh, <coughs> some things that hidden meanings that you manage to glean a bit of truth. Okay, but the exact not the exact truth lah. Well, the truths are still layered. You have some okay. ideas yeah. about that, about that. Uh, something from another plane and not who the person is supposed to be and then there there can be threats from other planes or somebody or something uh, some group is involved behind the scenes all right all right then uh have you ever heard of Ponyo Ross? No. <laughs> did i pronounce it Correct, Jim. It's Oniros. Ah, Oniros. No, I haven't. Who, who are they? Hmm, never mind. Okay, let's uh, continue on then. And then I'll continue on reading the manual. Alright, <laughs> then I'll just play the loot and head to... Uh, and as, uh, we, as we do that, we head towards the Marshall's place. And we jump back to the main campaign. Yay! <clears throat> All right. So, the the two of them went to see the marshal, and it was early morning when they reached the high marshal, the lord marshal's camping camp, encampment, and as usual, the high marshal is an early riser, doing calisthenics. And jumping jacks in, in full in, armor. Yep. This is Felix people. In full armor. Doing jumping jacks, doing uh, push ups. Ooh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, oh, so oh. weird, man. Does, does the armor have uh, articulation for that? 199. Muscle up. 200. Alright. That's it. Dragonfly. Ooh, impressive. Good morning, Marshall. Oh, you caught me. Oh, what do you want? I just finished 200 push-ups for the day. Mm, we know early this. morning. Uh, we're just here to report um, what happened at the farm. Thought you might be interested in what we found out. Um, long story short, and as I do that, I explain uh, what happened to the farm with the attacks and whatnot. <clears throat> so that's what happened. Oh. Well, 
It seems that we are facing more than werewolves, werewolf and zombies. It seems so. Um, if I do remember right, we... Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but we did stumble upon ghouls. Ooh. Ghouls. So I think you have a, a holy man among you. Should not be a problem, I would assume. Mm, last I remember, yes, we did. We also had um, your son, so he. But other than that, um, I, I can't remember the life of me. Um, yeah, we should be okay on that front. But it's just that um, the farm has been. Yeah, the the creature that attacked us was pretty powerful. So. We we were. Wait, is it is it pretty or is it powerful? Really powerful, yes. Oh, okay, sure. I thought it's pretty. Hmm. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and it's not. I don't find it beautiful. <clears throat> but so yes. you managed to dispose of the creatures. Yes, and we burned the bodies for safety because you don't want zombies to rise up again. Oh, Marshall, has there been any report of um, bodies being uh, moving on their own after death? Uh, not since lately. <coughs> so far, things have been a bit normal. Hmm. Even, I think it has been about several weeks since we last had any reports for that. Hmm. That is... I've been comparing notes also with Lanever. So far, the, the kind of instances have reduced. But for him, it's hard to validate and verify because all of his men kept burning all bodies. Oh, that's true. It's one of those things where you kind of need to for safety. But yeah, um, I totally understand. It's kind of hard right now because if we try to find out... There might be a zombie uprising. So, hmm. But, yes, uh, th that's all to report. That is good, that is good. Anything else you have? You mentioned my son. Yes. Do you have any word of him? Um, as far as we can tell, we haven't heard anything. Even on our journey to the... West. West. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we we haven't found, uh, we haven't heard anything of his description. Wait, hold on, why do I hear somebody giggling? I don't must be my imagination. Yes, um, yeah. So we will still keep an eye out and try to find any rumors or speculations out there. By the way, uh, do you know what this is? As I say that, I pull out uh, the leaf that I pick from the farm. Can I show it to him? Hmm. Interesting looking leaf. Hmm. The five leaflets from a single leaf. Let me just check. And he will roll. Nature is it? So, roll not nature? Not no acrobatics. <laughs> 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 In full armor, that's gonna be something. Oh, spin around, and you're like, yes, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's like a Ooh. funky anime. Nice. Net 20. Net 20. Uh, I haven't seen this in a while, but it is very useful. It has some medicinal values. It numbs the pain. Mm -hmm. All right. That's good. Um, is it... How do you happen to have this? This is fresh. Yes, um... Well, it's still... It's still kind of young. But I think it has lots of value for people who has this. It's quite rare among this region. Mm. Is it legal in this region? Well, nothing that has not been... Well, because it's, the rarity is so high. It has been sought after by medical practitioners, um, apothecaries, <clears throat> in, for for the medicinal values. So mm. far, 
it has been sought after. Hmm, I see. Um, anything from the people from Karatur? Do they uh, know about it? <laughs> then he suddenly twirl and did. <laughs> Lol. A- 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 adapt. <laughs> he did adapt. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, uh, sometimes the there are side effects of this for ingestion or even inhalation of the fumes for this thing. Sometimes hmm. it gives you happiness for some reason. Hmm. So, so... <laughs> Lucky I could smell. <laughs> well, uh, I suddenly feel like doing the dab. <laughs> I see. So basically, it's a okay, but use in moderation and also put a lot of guards. I would say put a lot of guards, and also the the due process to process it. I see. Would you like to volunteer some of your men to take care of the farm? My men are all committed to fortify this caravan grounds. Ah, all right. Hmm, all right. Do tell me where you managed to find this ah, it's a, medicine. It's not my place to say. I'm just the person asking for its legality. Very well. But I'm sure um, you can cut a deal with the owner of it. I'm sure he would be happy to do so. I would imagine so. But... Do keep me informed of where you source it from. Will do. Will do. Anyway, so it, uh, sorry. As a as a battlefield uh, medicine, it is a very useful substance. We'll keep that in mind. Anyway, thank you for your time, Marshall. Um, we won't be keeping you for long. Anyway, see you. Bye. And with that, we head towards the. <laughs> oh, <laughs> net twenty. <laughs> Oh, and dirty, dirty. Oh, and he suddenly did a backflip. What? One, 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 one. Oh my uh, god, it's a plus one on his. Ac- okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, do keep that um, in its pure form. It has a very powerful side effect, but do keep that in check. Uh, all right, will you? And... Yeah. I'm off doing my more of my money calisthenics. All right. In With that, hour. I'll take back the leaf and we'll head towards town. Cool. Suddenly, you <laughs> remember the full metal alchemist doing <laughs> <laughs> backflips. <laughs> As we go out, I whisper to Vince and us and tell him, "Wow, um, he's pretty nimble in that armor." So yeah. Okay. Hello, hello. Mm-hmm. Hello, hello. Maybe, yeah. Sorry, my laptop stuck. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, now now it's okay. You have to say that thing does pretty serious shit to pupil. I, you know what? I I I don't know. His. His family line is strange. I, I just accept it. <laughs> so anywho, um, yeah, let's head to town. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Could use something to eat. Yeah, let, let's go to the Dega for it and have some happy meals. As okay, as the two of you, uh, left the caravan grounds. Now is. Almost like a a town, a fortified town on its own. Mm-hmm. You have to wonder why a very serious and solemn, gol- solemn simulacrum like the marshal <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> became, <laughs> suddenly became ecstatic after. Oh God, no! Sniff- no. Sniffing the. <laughs> you you giving me an idea on to create a weapon with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh wow is that then? so um okay. all right uh, you you mentioning that I, 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 just give me a second uh, I want to try and see if um yeah I'm gonna roll perception on that fifteen 
So do, What do, are you lost? Thinking back on His acrobatic skills and whatnot, Is it because Of The Sniffing of the leaf? He seems to be sniffing Because you You notice when he did his medicinal check He did Sniff the um, thing Sniff the thing into the slit of his visor Of the helmet And maybe he ingested it a bit Or bite a piece of it So uh, okay um, With that I'm going to check the leaf is, is any bit of it Missing, eaten or something like that Yes uh, Okay uh, Good one portion Okay it's a five <laughs> it's a five tier, five clover leaf, mm-hmm. and it's now a four and a half clover. Leaf. Ah, alright. Um, so thinking, re- remembering what just happened just now, I check the leaf again. Oh, well, more. Take a look at this as I show him the leaf, which is kind of only uh, four and a half. <laughs> I think the marshal took a bit off the top and he's pretty happy. We gotta ask his men what they what they seen him do. It's gonna be fun. Hmm. Gonna be really pretty crazy I guess. Yep, yep. Seeing with all the effects previously from the <clears throat> Farm helpers. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it won't be something that usually that uh, a, a, kind of, a man of that caliber. One can only hope that nothing goes bad. Anywho, we go for food. Yes, food now. So you are going to the Daggerfall Inn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, as you go to the Daggerfall Inn. Uh, you enter it uh, as usual. You you see Lionel on his uh, usual pl- spot, and you had to wonder whether he sleeps at all because mm. he's always there. <laughs> and seeing you, Leota, mm-hmm. suddenly he perks up and says, "Oh, there you are." Hello. I haven't seen you. I thought I asked your friend to to relay a message once he sees you. Oh, really now? Yes, I do have a message for you. Oh, um, what is it? Oh, yeah. It... Uh, well, actually, this is something that came to you, and it the sender. Sends his regards saying that it's only for your eyes only. Oh, yeah, and I do hope uh, you can read this. And with that, he sent you this missing. All right, and with that, I take a look, see at the letter, um, kind of um, away from. More just because what the still busy reading the manual. Yeah. So for <coughs> Leona, can you read the? Do you see the the letter? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it right now. Okay, sure. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know who sent it? Oh, it's just some regular patrons here and there. And suddenly one of them just says, Ah, we do have that. Pay some good gold to me in order to ensure that it goes into your keepsake. I see. By the way, you, you have not been here for some time. Ah. What happened to you? Um, on an adventure, yes. Well, I almost gave your room away. I thought you you all have. Uh, sorry to say this. I thought you all have perished. Ah, nah. Your adventures. We made of sterner stuff. Oh, of course, of course. Well, you do have uh, people come and go from your party anyway. 
Oh, that's true. That's so true. Maybe there's a possibility that people will just go from your party. <laughs> yes. Um. We we had people that come came in. Uh, came in went. <clears throat> yeah. What happened to you? Ah. Oh, uh, I hope everything's good. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um. Personally, for me, went home to see mum. Uh, she's doing well. And told her about the whole happy meal. Oh, by the way, I want a happy meal. Uh, kind of hungry right now. Of course, of course. Ah, uh, well, I, I'm thinking of something. Oh. Okay. Uh, while uh, barmaid, prepare a meal for these two persons, especially the 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 one reading that that book. Hmm. He seems a bit malnourished. And pale. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. I mean, uh... yeah, I think he he needs something to eat or some sun. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> well, and and anyway, I've I've been thinking about branching out other than this this town. Mm. You, you do you know that we have opened up a new express trade routes to Karatur. I've heard, yes. Um, Commander Lenever and also the marshal told us about it. So that's a good boom for the town, eh? Hey? Well, it's still it's still in its early stages. Control is still being implemented on both sides, but I'm thinking a long term of putting a branch there. Oh, that's kind of smart, really. Um, expanding towards other regions would. Kind of make the Daggerford Inn a household name, so that's good. Well, I I think just to to have something of a more appeal, Daggerford is Daggerford. Maybe I need to really think of a name change for the branch. Maybe something more commonly known like a、uh, Mac or something. Mm. Ah, but then again, it's it, that's for long term. How how about something merry and with a color? Merry yellow? Um, no, yellow yellow doesn't really stand out. How about hmm, chocolate? Merry chocolate. Uh, well, chocolate sounds. <laughs> sounds like <laughs> shit. Yeah. Well, exactly. Wow. Oh. When you don't say much, but when you, when you do say much, you do make sense. And continue reading on. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Mary, yeah, maybe Mary Brown. Yeah, Mary Brown. Mary. That that has a kick to it. I I'm sure out there there's a person that's face palming right now. <laughs> well, 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 it, it's still far away.、Mm, yes, but yes. I do I do caution you about the some of the new newcomers. They they come with their envoys. And also to explore the the, the trade opportunities from both sides. Hmm. Yes. But still, um, why why not try somewhere on this location on over here? I mean, there's Baldur's Gate. Well, I I think the the good thing about this establishment of this. Way gate or Umbra gate or what they call it, whatever they call it, it is exclusive for Daggerford,、mm. and and I think for a long time we suddenly became the center of attention for the trading nations of the Sword Coast.、Mm, yes, I, I see what you mean. And since if you have exclusivity, why not exploit it, right?、Mm. Well, I think that's what the the town council has. Thought out, I would suspect as a trading nation, we have a advantage now, wouldn't it? Hmm. True. True. Yeah. So, But then again, with this new trade, there comes new opportunities and also maybe new risks. I would call it. You know, there are some new management has taken over some of the the shops or the business. Side of town. Oh,、mm, yeah. Who who's controlling those shops now? Ah,、uh, some people that I think one of the, the the people that that no one is surprised is the jewelry shop、oh? is under new management. 
Oh. Uh, yeah. It, the old one, the old management is also <coughs> from Karatu, so naturally, I think it's just an easy takeover of um, management. I thought that person who took over is a relative for the previous owner. Hmm. All right. That's that's fascinating. Any other shops that's been taken over? Well, not that I know of. Hmm. Well, it seems that with the opening of the gate, there's new business coming in, so that's good. So yeah, well, why don't you try and expand? Uh, maybe um, open a proposal to the uh, committee? Maybe that can work. But remember when I say there are more also risks that comes along with it? Mm-hmm. Come closer. Alright, I, I lean in closer. There are whispers about some of the locals that are not happy with these newcomers. Mm. I mean, if it's a hostile takeover, I would be happy too. Ah, well. New things, new opportunities, and also new problems, I would guess. Mm. But still, I know, I do hope that your business managed to flourish. Well, we do what we can. We were suffering, but one of the things that, that first came through from this new trade is the food. Yeah, we're, we're in danger of starving, but uh, luckily the, the new trade routes open up room for food supplies for a bit. At least it got us through the winter. Mm, that's good. Uh, do you know who's dealing with the Duchess for this trade the, route? The the what? The trade route. Uh huh. Why? Dealings. Do you know who she's dealing with? Any families or? Oh, ah. Finally enough, I I think uh, Lady Amelia, uh, sort of about this I think Lady Emilia has dealings with Karatu for some time and she is the one who convinced the Duchess about their potential opening of this trade route and then barely a month ago uh, well do you know about this there's something happening in town mm, I'm not sure where is it uh, there was rumors about a uh, Loud explosion. Oh. Um. Yeah. It, in the temple of Lathander, of all places. Oh, wow. That's that's bad. Uh, what happened? Yeah. I have no idea. It's, it just happened. And then no one knows. And then no one can find anything about the culprits who did that or whatever. But those are all rumors. Because everything was kept hush hush by the priesthood. The priesthood? You mean uh, Master Boris? Of course, who else? Mm. And they are his, his priests. So, and then after that, uh, rumors has it. Coincidentally, the, the gateway managed to be established. Well, too much of coincidence is never a good thing, I would call it. Yes. Uh, coincidence are usually just planned stuff. Yes. And people who came here sometimes are very talkative under the right circumstances. Mm, what have you heard? Huh. I think people, some of the... <laughs> Well, you know, even priests need some drinks, mm -hmm. or even the priests, they, they wanted some happy meals mm -hmm. yes, yes. Need to be happy. True, true. Well, some of them dropped by that. Uh, managed to get the proper regions to construct the kit. Mm. Have you heard what they used to build the gate with? Oh, it's not about matter of building the gate. It's about opening the gate in the oh. first place. Opening it? Hmm. 
I look at Morbius to see if he's paying attention or not. <laughs> I'm guessing it's um, perception with advantage because I'm looking at him right now. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, looking at him. Are you paying attention to this? <laughs> Question mark. I'm still reading the book, but my ears are wide open. Okay, so I, I okay, don't. Okay, uh, Leo, Leona, your pers- you have the perception with advantage, right? Mm-hmm, because I'm just looking at him, <laughs> trying yeah, to see. He 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 looks like he's reading the book attentively, mm-hmm. but you can also notice his t- ears are twitching. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vincent Morbius, uh, are your ears pointed? Pointy ears? No, no, no. It's just a normal <laughs> okay. human ear. Okay. <laughs> normal human ears. Normal human ears. But for some reason, he he looks a bit pointy at, at this time around. <laughs> no, you have no idea why, but you seem to it's more pointy than normal human ears, which is kind of strange, and it's twitching. Oh, all right. So, um, I'm I'm guessing he heard all of that, and I don't need to repeat it. Okay, cool. All right. So opening it, fascinating. Hmm. So, have you heard anything else? Ah, nothing much. Well, it's just after that, they started terming or calling it the Ombra Gate. Hmm. Ombra Gate. Yeah, I've never heard of that term before. No idea what that means. Hmm, doesn't sound friendly. Hmm. But anywho, um... Your business plan to expand, do you... Are you interested in doing it? Well, one have to think big and long term. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why don't you think of the name first? Because without a name, uh, you can't really expand. Um, You could call it Lionel's. Well, well, we can think about that later, I guess. Ah, I, I'm sorry for keeping your time so much. So, but Morbius, what are you rolling the history for? To check if I have a, uh, from my studies, do I remember anything that called Abraham Day? Which well, I know. <laughs> no. so far, not so much. But the name Ombra is interesting to you. As if you again you you are paying attention for lots of other stuff except for languages mm-hmm. for some reason yeah. <clears throat> all right then anywho i know i uh, will just have our meal for now thank you for the all chat right, yeah oh 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 mm-hmm. i just remember something i think they said something about the feather of an angel? Feather of an I, angel? Yeah, the feather of an angel. I don't know. What? Found at the library? Found at the temple? Or at the I, gate? I, 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 I do not know. It's just something that that, that they, they mentioned in passing. Well, ah, maybe it's just something. It's just empty talks. Ah, you know. Hmm, probably. In their inebriated state. Well, <laughs> you don't ever know. Yes, yes. Anywho. Have a good day, Lionel. Thank uh, you, you too, much. you too. Good to have you back. So, I'm I'm assuming that you will be keeping your, your room? Uh, yes, we'll be keeping our room for... Yeah, we'll be keeping our room because... Yeah, because your friend says that he, he, he will be keeping a small... He's, he wanted a smaller room. Thinking that all of you will not be joining... And maybe, I think he thinks he's, he's the only survivor or something. I got no idea. He He's under a lot of stress. Ah, well. Well, hope he can distress somehow. I'm sure he can. Maybe he did some herbs. Yes, I'm sure he can because... Um, yeah, you know what? I'm sure he can somehow. Did and... our Happy Meal arrive or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I'll just chomp down on the book while reading the book yes. and listening to their conversation. Hmm. You gobble it down, but you man, you ensure that the, the 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 happy meal in front of you is far away from the pages of the book that you are reading. Yep. So that you don't have catch up on it. Mm-hmm. Or smudges. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, we we just eat and then we'll just um, get ready at ready to head up. So after that, that head up there. Something much more better. Sorry. What was it again? I didn't hear that. No, something much better. I'll cast Mitch hand to hold the book oh, and pick the pages as I read. So I can do other stuff like eating, working normally. Oh, that's for a minute. <laughs> While eating, yeah. uh. So it's about almost like having a uh, multitasking, <laughs> <laughs> eating and that. All right. So yeah. Um. Uh. What time is it now, GM? So by now it's still about seven seven plus in the morning. Wow, that's early. All right. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, we'll just eat up, and then after we're done eating, we'll just head to uh, Lenover. So um, it's a good time to shift to another person, or another party. Sure, sure. All right. So let's go to the duo trio of Camille, uh, Carl, and also Kenny's back at farm. All right, TK. Camille, Carl, and also Kenis. Uh, what else are you doing at the farm? We want to go shopping. You want to go shopping? Okay. Where? Okay. What type of shopping are you trying to do? Uh, weapon shopping and jewelry shopping, visiting, serving. Sure. Okay. Where do you go first? Since I'm talking, let's go weapon first. Weapon. So, where? Which weapon? Are you going to the devil's bright blade or to the Clack's weapon swatch? Hmm. I go to Clack's first. All right. So you are going to Clack's weapon forge. Again. Uh. It took a bit of walk from where your farm is to Clegg's Almost the same time when The the other two was talking to Lord Marshall You're there Unfortunately, it's still very early in the morning When you arrive there Oh wow Yeah mm, Will the bright blade be open? Well, you are not sure, but I think by your by your estimate and your familiarity with the town by now, it's still very early in the morning. There is a likelihood that it will not be open when you arrive there. Mm, how long do I wait? So you will be waiting. How long? Ah, huh? uh, well, maybe uh, it's about an hour of waiting after that. Makan first. Okay, makan first. So you'll be going to makan at where? Lizzie's happy meal. All right, sure. Eh, uh, Kenis, right? Kenis is with us, right? Yes. Yeah. So on, on the way there, we gotta talk to Kenis about what happened. Okay. So while you are going from there, uh, you keep talking to Kenis, even though he doesn't say much. He doesn't talk much. Very stoic. That's okay. We 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 see a lot of people like this. All right. So you are asking. You are in uh, to the point of interrogating Kenis of where he has been. <laughs> yeah, Kenis, where have you been? I haven't seen you for so long. Like so.
waiting. I have been far, far away. <laughs> yeah, in the galaxy, far, far away. <laughs> where, where? Where exactly, Cadiz? Where? Is it Karatur? Have you been to Karatur, Cadiz? Kara two, let me be Kara two. Get this, get this, get this. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. Well, you know, we have been looking for bounty ourselves. Did you know that we pretty much uh could pop, could storm a uh, web of flare? It's true. We even got the alpha, which is, which is a she. And we beat her up, and then beat her up some more after she's dead. Yeah. Her boyfriend was crying like a pup. <laughs> and he's, uh, you know, in the end he had to go and snatch his bitch. Wow. You know? they, didn't, they, don't, they, they don't even dare to face us. You know? I ran away. Like a pussy. Which is funny, because they're wolves. But they're like pussy. Yeah. I thought werewolves would be better, but apparently they're not that good. I thought werewolves were like strong, muscular, you know, powerful, but in the end, not that special. Don't you agree, Kenis? Then try to flex a bit. Yeah. Kenis, Camille, and Carl, can you roll perception? Yep. What happened? Oh no. Alright. Wow, that dirty. <laughs> well, Kenneth is so busy trying to do sign language and focusing on the sign language, he doesn't notice a lot. But for Camille, you, you know you are talking while you are walking and you notice as Carl was focusing a lot to extol your party's or especially his own exploits of beating the dead well. <laughs> in the the public area, uh, as the city was waking up and doing on their merry way, you notice some people looking your way while he is while Carl is loudly talking to Kenneth about that. And some of them looks quite puzzle when you say werewolf some of them were quite alarmed in their faces and some of them are just looking and just looking wait have we told anyone about werewolves but the refugees have met werewolves before have uh, we talked to the refugees again after we time travel? No. Hmm, something we should do. I have a feeling, but something we should do later. I mean, talk to the people who have had encounters with the werewolf or uh, do the reports of the werewolf still exist. Something just to do on the side. According to the Lord Marshal, the werewolf attack stops. After nice our, yeah, after our, um, our pup pup stomp, pup stomping activities. Okay, good enough. All right. So as you manage to make your way to the Daggerford Inn, you came into in there and you notice a very weird sight. You saw somebody eating and then there's a hand this embodied hand holding and flipping the pages of a book while he's eating oh it's your ah, student yes uh... <laughs> student yes okay and you notice also he is finishing and with leona is also finishing the meal and they are, I think they are about to leave when you just came in. 
So there you are at the Daggerfall Inn. All one, two, three, four, five of you. Hey, hello guys. Look who look who I found at our farm. I point to get this Rex. The mobius is typing. Well, Leona is silent. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the I I pat Vincent on his uh no, on his shoulder and introduce him to Kenny Rex. The bell bell. Yeah. Hey, uh, Kenny Rex. This is our new addition, Mister Mobius, the vampire. I mean, uh, 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 uh I'm not a vampire. Uh, with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're definitely not a vampire. I'm sorry. We Miss, spoke, we spoke. Uh, we get cut this. I am not a vampire. And I don't say blah, blah, blah. And to say blah, 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 blah. He definitely did not say that during our first take out. Oh. Off. I'm not. I did not say that I want to suck you, but I just needed some of your blood to do some ah never mind i continue oh, on yeah, reading yeah, I, 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 have... <laughs> I have to look at it but and laugh. Look at this. be careful don't let him suck your blood i want to suck your blood <laughs> anyway we'll we'll have some food as well yeah like now we're just about to leave but can go with that. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. We'll be heading to um, Lenever. Alright, so. Lydell came and. Uh, so, two of you left as three of you came in and Lionel standing. Oh! I see five of you here. Before we, uh, I left with Leona, I just leaned to the counter and sent uh, some sort of an idea to Lionel, like a whisper. You can try to take off Lionel Reaches, Reaches for your name and then walk away with Leona. Mm. Oh, that's all some, some careless whispers you, you have there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, later on, YouTube, YouTube's gonna flag Lomond's video. Nah, man, if it's vocals right. like that, nah, man. <laughs> anyway, carrying on. <laughs> carrying on, yep. That's funny. <laughs> so, so, you're the yeah, smart man. <laughs> yes. And then they the came back from the notes. Those are some careless whispers you have there. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Anything, anything uh, interesting happening? Oh, nothing. Yeah, it's just about the discovery all of you are alive. Including your friend who was not here. I think who is it? Master Chen? Oh uh, yeah, he's uh, helping out at the farm. He's casting, he's doing some magic in the farm. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Fine. Ah, speak, say like no. Uh, uh, do you? I heard that there were merchants coming here in Karatu. Yeah. Sorry, the merchants of oh, Karatu. Sorry, I heard there were merchants of Karatu uh, trading here. Yeah, I just told your friend who just left about it. Ah, they didn't tell me about it. <laughs> we just came. We just came in. Maybe we didn't go. Not our fault. Uh, yeah. What, what What do you want to know about them? Oh uh, yeah. Do you know Do you know where 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 I can we trade with them? Where can we do business with this With uh, this kind of two people? Well, the guilds are very much against their setting up businesses here, but some of them are powerless because we have some some need for their trade and wares. So. Some concessions have to be made by our local guilds. And again, this is where the local guilds have been. No, useful for you guys. Uh, 
uh, again, uh, you you seem to be breaking up. Oh, sorry. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But then I, again, I, I, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I think you need something to drink. Yeah, have something to drink. I think you need to clear your throat. <laughs> oh, that's good. What's this? Uh, H2O, they call it. Oh, that's that's very good. Sadly, Lionel is a scientist. <laughs> you can consider bottling bottling this up and selling it. Come here, roll a perception. All right, come on. Okay, so Lionel, so where can we find this uh, Karatu people that we want to do business with? Ooh, one of the most prominent ones is the one that. That set up the jewelry shop. Oh, he took over the old jewelry shop. Well, people say he is a relative for the old owner. Interesting. And the old owner has been quite absent for some time. Hmm. And other than that, is there any any other person? Well, like I said, they they try to negotiate uh, on which businesses they can come in and also the trade because you, you know the guild has some pushback for to protect their members so as not to lose out the trade while maintaining the option to trade more with the Karatur Empire. Ah uh, this 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 bastards just care about their wallets don't they? Yeah well I, I think I think it goes both ways, I would call it. To me, I look at it as an opportunity for me to set up trade over there also. Maybe oh. branch out. But those are still long-term effects. You're trying to set up a shop at Karatu? Me. Are you looking for investors? Interesting. Uh, it, it, are you, it, it, are you looking shot. Are you looking for investors, my friend? Well, I think I make it now from the Happy Meals, but we'll see how things go. But I, oh, I'm, oh. I, I've never been to to there, so I may need to to look around the places first. Maybe I would need some people to help me scout some places or come with me. You know, you know what? That, that's a good idea. Do give us a call if you ever need us to accompany you. And if you need some business partners... Are, are, are you serious? Oh, of course. And if you need some business partners... Uh, do you know Nips? Do you remember Nips? Oh, yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. That yes. small guy, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. He, he's, 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 uh, he's our director of the Night Hunters business group. <laughs> oh, that yes, guy. yes, yes. Well, I know him as the annoying and persistent uh, merchant. <laughs> well... Oh, now, now he's he um, now he's the director of the Night Hunters business group. So if you are interested, you can always let me know, or you can let Nips know. We can work out a plan. Yeah. Oh. Well, I I just had that idea. So it's still very early. I think it's only start. The, the trade route is only starting for several weeks. So I think negotiations are still ongoing. There are still lots of people. Uh, interested but fearful at the same time. Well, we will see how things go. But yeah. if you are serious, I will keep your offer in mind. Yes, we. I'm always serious about business. I know you know me. I wink, wink. Well, okay. Yeah, don't worry. You will. You will never regret this. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. We'll see how things go. Uh, would, would you be anything else that you need? Oh. The, just some is. food. Yeah, just some food and wine. And maybe we need to see the marshal as well. Of course, of course. How's Les doing? Uh, you, okay, Camille, you noticed the... The person that you're looking for is absent from this establishment. Say Nips, is Liz off day or something? 
Uh, who is Nips? Nips, Master Nips is not here. I'm just, I know. Yeah, Liz, 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 Liz. The, the, the girl from the poor quarters. Ah. Oh. That girl. I'm afraid she has been absent for some time. Ooh, since when? More than a month ago. Oh. It, yeah, it, I think it's during the, the riots. At the the poor uh. quarters, uh, I think she suddenly went missing. I I had people look around for her. I I'm also worried. Good worker, quite dedicated, always honest. But suddenly she did not turn up for work, and I'm quite fearful of what happened to her. Uh, especially during the 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 time when the dead started rising. Oh no, that's terrible. Uh, well, since you you ask if you, if if it's not of a trouble to you, uh, do let me know if you hear of any word about her. I I think I've grown quite fond of her. I hope she's okay. Mm, us too, especially one of our old friends. Mm. I do hope everything's okay. I really, really do. All right. Thanks for the chat. A happy meal, please. A big bag. Well, just a couple things of it. I... I think she was worried about her brother, Todd. Todd, Todd then... Howard? Uh -huh. oh, 60 I times the detail? I think she has a brother thought that that yeah she has she, a brother yeah she, well, she that's why she worked so hard in order to provide for her brother and he still he's still staying around there when uh, when the riot started uh, I think she was worried sick about that about her brother then she did turn that out so uh, I even went myself there but I was stopped by the guards from entering the poor quarters when they barricaded that I hope she's okay. I do hope so. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. Don't worry. If we ever see her, we'll let you know. Thank you, Masters. Thank you very much. Uh, for your generosity, all the meals are paid for by me. Oh, thank oh, you very thank much, you. Lionel. This is very generous of you. Thank you. I a, toast will... to, a toast to Lionel, our great, our great innkeeper. Hurrah! Ah, well, I will leave to your you to your meal. Okay, so, uh, you got you all three of you will be eating, even though, Cadiz is just standing there, doesn't seem to be interested in eating. Oh yeah, Cadiz, well, would you like to eat at your room, Cadiz? Cadiz. Yeah, okay, Kenneth. Uh, Lionel, uh, a tapau for my friend Kenneth here. Yeah? He would like to eat in the room. Yeah, okay. Uh, the meal is right in front of him. Well, 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 well to everyone, they are own. <laughs> to each his own, so. Okay, okay, yeah. whatever. Okay, so, yep. anything else from the three of you? Nah, no, that's all, that's all. And then you can barely hear somebody whisper, This is the way. <coughs> Wait, did, 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 does the Kenneth carry a little baby next to him? <coughs> well, and then somebody is playing the, the flute or something, some wind instrument there. At the... I think some of the bard or performer is playing that. And pretty soon, he was joined by some other instruments players. People started drumming. I listened to the music like a true critic.
the drums are quite catchy. Kenneth is always wearing a mask. Somebody, somebody is playing a lute, strings. <laughs> I listen to the music. That's already seven a.m. playing music. <laughs> wow, very lively, yeah. So, uh, while the, all three of you are appreciating the music that's being played. It's like a flash mob, even though you don't know what a flash mob is. Uh, the two of you <coughs> that left earlier mm-hmm. is on your way and going to see Lenova. So, do you have anything to say? Do you want to talk about yourself while you are on the way? Alright, so as we walk towards the barricade, or oh, no, barracks, um, I'll just say, There, I hope you're feeling better now. Yeah, thank you. So, so I, I don't know what to say to Lenover. Like, I'm still of a headache right now. Well, you can just report the usual and update on what's happening on the farm. So, do you know anything about the Umbro Gates? Mm, no, I probably have slept on that class. Hmm. Looks like you Looks need like to learn more. That is what I'm currently pursuing on. Alright. So we get closer do we get closer to the drift field, do we see the river? TM is silent. Oh no. Yeah, okay. The real field is quite busy in the morning. Uh, lots of people. I you see, a new batch of guards was being trained by. The drill sergeants, and you know you also notice one familiar face. It was the death sergeant. Oh. That that seems to have, lost some weight. Ah. But he's also training with the new joiners. And I think he's getting in shape. Mm, surprisingly. Good, 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 good. <coughs> so. Okay. Alright, pretty soon as you are going there, you notice Lenever going out from the barracks office, going out there, and then started parking orders. You! Give me 200. I will not. Well, no. Give me 201. I will not be weaker than the Lord Marshal. <laughs> Good morning. So he, there. Started, he started doing calisthenics. He's doing squats mm-hmm. in full armor. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we, we, we head up, we say hello. Good morning he, there. No, never. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. He, he's not wearing uh, his uh, helmet. Mm. He's, uh, okay. But then again, he's in full, full combat armor, gear. Mm-hmm. Full combat gear. Uh, long sword, great sword, doing squats on the battlefield. <laughs> you see me? Doing squats. 250. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I, I thought you might would like to know that um, we saw him doing flips in full armor. <laughs> you just have to do that, don't you? Yes. Whisper to you, you know. <laughs> no, that one. He seems. He was so intent of showing how to do squats in full armor, and his all the troops there are following suit, mm. even though some of them. Some some of them ah crap my my butt is cramping <laughs> and totally not and then suddenly when he heard somebody says about Lord Marshall is doing flips in full armor he just said who said that it was me Who's... hello 
And then he's so intent. You continue. Let's do 300. <laughs> then he turns and then angrily. Who said that? What um, did you say he did? Uh, he did a flip and into a dab. Twice. I can do that. <laughs> what do you want? We just we just want to report on the farm. Um, we managed to get rid of the zombies. Uh, okay, while you are talking, he's still doing squats in full armor. Mm. Oh, um, by the way, um, do you know what this is? And I show him the leaf. <coughs> that's a four. Is that's a four and a half clover leaf? Uh, is it? legal around this area what is it why is it not legal i'm just asking because i've heard never seen it before never seen it before hmm. All right. so does the lord marshall want to check it out no yes because i feel like he is a no he's still intently doing squats all right oh. so i'll put it back wait 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 hold on, hold on. Hmm? let me see all right uh, uh Oh, show it to me. All right. Oh. Hmm. And then he crushed one of the, oh, the leaf a bit, <laughs> and then he started smelling it. Huh. That's an interesting scent. Hmm. Yes. Um. I. I. I think the Lord Marshal consumed a bit of it, and. He managed to do the backflips. Around this area, Jam, the one that I'm pointing, I will use my invocation to create a silent image of Lord Marshall flipping and into a death. <laughs> oh god, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, and then. Okay. Roll, then, okay, Leona, Leona can, hmm? can you do a dexterity check? Okay. <laughs> um, normal dexterity or con save? Or save tr saving throw. Uh, let's see. Uh, dexterity check. Normal, eh? All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Twenty-two. Oh, nice. nice. Uh, is that right? Or is it just thirty-one? Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. So it's twenty-one. Then. Twenty-one. Then. Yeah. Why? Why? Why do you have two plus one? Eh? Yeah, because, uh, because of false check. Right? Yeah, but it shouldn't for dex. Yeah, just it doesn't. Like... dex doesn't count the jack. Yeah, that that side. Like, we, we kind of, you know. Huh. Okay. Chen Chen! It's, it's gone. Just thought Chen Chen was in here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. You, you notice... The... Commander... <laughs> was doing something. And you quickly and dexterously reached out. And you notice him biting into the. He's trying to put all the meat <laughs> into his mouth. <laughs> but as dressed, that stress as you are, you manage to snatch three and a half clover of that. Right. And he put one one bite, one of the clover leaf into his mouth, and then he's like, mm. ah. While watching the the image of the Lord Marshal doing backflips, okay. and suddenly he okay, and then suddenly he started. Oh, I can do more on that, oh. and he dropped down and he did push-ups. Oh. oh, okay. With one hand. Mm. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I dismiss the image and continue reading all the manual. <laughs> I point towards um, Vincent and just message him, You are evil. And as you notice, the, the people behind him that follow suit because mm. he ha they have to follow whatever the Lord Commander has been doing. And some of them seems to be on the verge of collapsing. Well, some of them has collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they are in, in, in light leather armor. Oh. <laughs> Lol. Um, um, I, I, I'll guess I'll 
See you uh, later uh, 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 then. Uh, oh, okay. Have a good day. Um, <laughs> let, my flips. Let, my let, ass. <laughs> Um, I, I, I'll just call Vincent and we'll just head off. Huh? Look at this. We <laughs> look. <laughs> oh god. No. Oh! He, he, he did a handstand. <laughs> In full armor. Some of uh, whatever that he's carrying, uh, his broadsword uh, dropped, but he did a two handstand mm -hmm. and then Later, he did it with just one hand stand. <laughs> See if I can do this. And then with one hand, he did a handstand push up. Oh, oh. I can do it better. Oh, um, we'll be sure to let um, the marshal know that you did this and said you were better. You were like better, hell, rookie. Uh, yes. <laughs> And we'll just slowly walk away. <laughs> all, across, all across the battlefield, you see a, a, scene, of, a scene of carnage. People <laughs> are messing up. Uh, bodies are everywhere. Uh, they are alive, but they are twitching. <laughs> Exhaustion. Yeah. And then one of the drill sergeants called, Medic! Uh, I, 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 you suddenly I, I, reminded of a scene of Starship Troopers. Oh God. No. I, I, I lean in to Vincent and says, What have we done? Your star, eh? I know, what? but it was glorious. Okay, what else are you doing after um, that? I'm you left the lever do it still doing... Okay, see my other hand stand. He flipped to another... To his left hand now. Oh. And doing a hand stand one-handed. And then later doing a push up handstand with his left hand. Huh? <laughs> I can do it better. Uh, Alright. Um... I'll just <clears throat> say you want to check on the Umbra gate? Yeah, um let's see if we can try it. You uh, where are you going? Um we're gonna try mm -hmm. and head towards the palace mm -hmm. to see the gates. The what the gates? Yes. The Duchess base. Mm. We oh. want to check on the Umbra gate. Ah, okay. So you are going here? Yes. Probably. Yep. <laughs> Probably. No, um, I, I think that's a bad idea. We will try and yeah. hit. Yeah. Try. Okay, so uh, I will go back to the three of them who are at the spot in. As we are walking away, I'll sneak in another silent image of Lord Marshall doing a burpee to a backflip and onto his hand doing push up, single hand push up as well. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> and then I'll dismiss the hit. <laughs> Too busy. Uh, he, he's so busy doing that, and now he's standing on his head. <laughs> mm. like, oh, and then he, 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 his arm is not touching the ground. Oh. He's just doing a headstand, not a handstand. It's a headstand <laughs> in full armor. Mm. My neck is thick. Muscle neck. Muscle, muscle, muscle. What? <laughs> 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 Yes. Smell the some old spice. <laughs> so yes. Then we walk. Now mm -hmm. we'll continue on reading the book. Alright. Alright, so you are going where? Um, Probably around here. Mm -hmm. Alright. Since so, the Umbra gate is inside the castle wall, right? Yes. Alright. So you are making that after doing a scene of carnage. <laughs> yeah, and I will leave the two of you and go back to the three of them at Daggerford Inn. Alright. So, I uh, call Camille and Tennis. Yeah. You guys have finished your meal uh, and whatever things that you are doing. It doesn't take as much time uh, because you have a short conversation. So, where are you going? I think uh, by the time you manage to walk, you estimate going to 
the jewelry shop if you are intent of going there you might be just in time for the normal opening hours you know what yeah, shopping yeah you know what Camille? let's let's just do this thing uh let's go get your weapons uh for you and also Cadis. uh while doing that like, let's i'm gonna meet up with commander oh, God. all right all right let's go because we need to tell commander Ladimer about this uh this potent new harvest that we have Hey Chen Chen, are you back? Yeah. Oh, is he? Mm, yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're, you're, you're currently at the farm casting magic. Frequently driving. Ah, alright. Yeah. So, so you're at the farm, my grover. So we can we can harvest our marijuana soon. <laughs> And, and it's going to be extra potent because you cast Mark Five Growth on it. Hey Chen, your character is good with herbalism, right? Uh, technically yes. Is uh yeah, medicine and herbalism. Oh, I thought mm. it was cannibalism. We 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 will need your help to process it as well. You become our bit high elf. <laughs> uh, I I'm a barista. I'm good with barista gear. I can help. Yeah, Chen Chen will be our high elf of the like midnight hunters. <laughs> The high of our highs. High elf of highs. <laughs> the highest of the highs. I'll be the first high human. <laughs> I think, um... I think Marshall Marshall beat you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, anyway, uh, yep. Uh, Carl, you are breaking up again. Oh, shoot. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Okay, now yes. Yeah. Okay. We are we are going to the we are going to the weapon shop, and and then we might stop by Commander Lanivers place. Huh? Yeah. Going to the weapon shop through the Commander Lanivers. All right. Yeah. Okay. So you are walking there, and as you are walking, we are going there. It took some time, and around the corner, you saw people are sprawling all over the battlefield, <laughs> and hey, some of them. Well, huh? Clutching their butt, uh, clutching their butt cheeks, <laughs> and some of them are in squatting position and seems to be stuck there. And you saw one lone figure that is at, at the middle of the field doing a headstand. Holy crap! By Misusama, what happened here? <laughs> <coughs> I don't know what I've been told. Uh, uh, Commander Ladova, are you okay? Yeah. Muscle, muscle, muscle. What? He keeps saying that. <laughs> yeah, Commander Ladova, yeah. Uh, can we speak for you a moment in private? No. You can speak here, but I will not listen because <laughs> I'm tough as they go along. Tough. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, holy cow! What can I do? I will. Hmm. I can't do anything. <laughs> it's high. <laughs> he took like two full clover, right? I think so. No. One half, maybe. One. One. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Wait, Oliver. You. You okay? How many? How many? Hand, how many fingers I have up right now? Ten. You're not okay. Nice. I'm only holding up one. I'm tough. I'm <laughs> tough. I'm tough. I'm tough. Uh, yeah. Here, here, here's the thing. I'm solid. I'm solid. I'm solid. Well, 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 once, once you're better, come, come and uh, let me know. I'm uh, better than good. We, I got something important to discuss with you in private. Uh, there's nothing more important than out doing the martial. Uh. Okay, right. Let's let let let. Chen Chen. Uh, Did you know that I shot the the, the sheriff, <laughs> but I didn't shot the deputy. Uh, are you confessing to murder? <laughs> murder. 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 Yeah. Murder. Murder. Ah, uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Murder is just nothing, you know. If no one finds out. You <laughs> see me. See me do this. He did a. He did a plank in full armor. Plank. Planking? Planking. Planking. Oh, planking. Oh. Yep. Cool. I'm tough. I'm tough as I go. Planking is. Everyone can do planking. I try and plank as well. Sergeant, 
ten on my back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the sergeant is in full armor. The sergeant is in uh skill armor. Take it He was being very. Are, are you sure, sir? Do as I say. And he tentatively stood on the back of the planking lever, commander. And commander said, "I didn't feel it." More, more people. Stand on my back. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Come on, don't even yell. Yo, you can't do this. I can do more. Oh. Uh, Jay, can 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 Mister Lemon need to do a strength check, right? Jay, just leave the guy be. Just leave the guy be. Yeah, go, Jay, does does Mister Lemon never need to do a strength check to see what happens? Can he I really don't... hold them? Well, you can see him doing it, but then again, you have no idea whether he's holding it by sheer will or sheer uh, medication. <laughs> 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 yeah, Commander Lanima, I think you should stop now. Uh, well, let's... I'll, I'll stop when I did. Uh, deputy, deputy, you might want to. Uh... <clears throat> Bring Commander Ladiva somewhere so that he can rest. He seems to be unwell. Oh, why do you say that? I think the Commander is really, really... Yeah, I think I think I agree with you, the Sergeant says. Uh, he seems to be... out of sorts. wonder why. Yeah, uh, yeah he looks weird, but yeah, that, once he's... once he's uh, feeling normal, Again, uh, let you know that uh, Carl from the Minion Hunters needs to see him for a very important discussion. Uh, what what should we do? Uh, you can come. You can ask the Commander Lanima if, if it's available to send someone to the farm. Well, I hope he is also well. I think he's killing his troops. <laughs> yeah, I think you might want to track him away. I, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Do okay. not come to me. I am tough, 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 tough. Ah, <laughs> uh, good lord. I'm rough nut and tough nut. I'm rough and tough and nut. Oh, good lord! What the hell happened to him? Okay, yeah. Give, give me a second. I'm gonna do this, sir. Okay. What are you gonna do? So just change. Oh. <laughs> Commander Ladywa, go and take a good rest. And once you're done, come bring some guards to meet me at the farm. Okay, this is suggestion, concentration. Uh, what is the wisdom? Okay, saving throw, DC 15. It's on stage, right? He's uh, pretty hyped right now. <laughs> are, are you sure that it is a disadvantage? <laughs> Uh, if a if a guy is you know he's not in his right state of mind, I'll say yeah. Are, <laughs> That's you, sure? Are you sure that does not do the other way around? <laughs> Ooh, that twenty, baby. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> yeah, God damn it. either with disadvantage, he still pass. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! By now, he is so into whatever he's doing. And I think he's augmented. In his augmented state, I don't think anything is coming through. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll be going now. <laughs> bye bye. Well, remember, meet us at the farm with some guards. Right. So, uh, where are you guys going? Uh, so weapon pay. shop. Weapon shops for Camille's and uh. Can you just weapon? All right, sure. The three of you uh, went to Clack's weapon shop. The good thing about Clack is always open earlier than others. Yay! But you, as you approach the the door to the shop, you notice in the window is a familiar face. Clack is looking at the carnage of the battlefield. <laughs> Okay, so worry. 
And as you enter the shop, Clap will turn from the window and looks at you. For heaven's sake, what is going on out there? You want to take this? Ah, sure. Ah, uh, you know, same old, same old. Just that's not, that's catching not something up. same old. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> I believe they call I believe they call it calisthenics. <laughs> oh, never seen the commander so energetic. Mm-hmm, indeed. Oh, okay. Well, a- a- anyway, um, what brings you here so early in the morning? Yes, uh, oh, by the way, uh, a long bow, please. A long bow? Right? Oh, you are looking for a long bow? Mm. Two long bows. Two long bows, please. Oh, our engine needs a long bow, okay. Yeah, Chen Chen, Chen Chen needs a bow. Long Chen bow. Chen? Chen Chen needs a long bow. He told me before. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he told me that his uh, old elven longbow broke because he sit on it. <laughs> oh, wow. That's sad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you should never... How... Wait. Hmm. How do you even sit on a longbow? Uh, you know, elves and their kings. Never mind. What the hell? Okay, well... By the way, I haven't seen you for some time. What happened to to you? I thought you are all dead already. Guess again. I... You know, the usual monster hunting, monster demon hunting. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, what, 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 what demons you say? You didn't hear that from me. Where? Wink, 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 bong, wink, bong. Where, where do I hear it from? From your head. Well, and, and anyway, ah. Uh, Longbows you have, see. Well, longbows I have. Well, they don't come cheap. But I do have two or three in my stock. Would you like some? Yeah, yeah, please. And some arrows as well. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah I can have that. Ah, do you have quiver mm. for these arrows? Mm, I have my quiver. Oh, okay, good. Hey, we, I... We'll need quiver. A quiver as well. A quiver, a okay. quiver of arrows. Sure. Okay, I... There are some people who just says that they can you can stuck it in your hair. <laughs> well, well, anyway, that's I think the old wife's tale. But yeah. I, well, but then again, I do see some of these foreigners who came in here with the things sticking out of their hairs that looks like knives or something. Yeah. Keep their mm. hair up, their hair upright or something. <laughs> well. Here we go. We have a long bow. It it does cost you though, but I will can give you a discount. Okay, sure. That's great. Yay. Uh a long bow usually is it's about fifty gold, but uh, for you being a customer, you know not a regular one. <coughs> well, it's about forty a piece. Forty gold a piece. <coughs> nice. Ah, by the way, I show my Braces of archery plus one on my right hand. Do you have a left hand one? Don't this come in pairs? Oh well, oh, inventory. Holy shit. Longbow is expensive. I need to play to Chen Chen. <laughs> God damn it. You can claim for him. Yeah, I need to claim for him. Huh? Why claim? I thought it was uh, covered by the group. Touch your cop. Check how much the group group has. I don't know. It's okay, I can claim from the group group fun thief. The group fun thief I can remember, it's okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. We, we're gonna turn some jewels into gold later and Leona won't know. Yeah, come here, can you, can you pay for it first? Uh, fortunately, I have invested it in the Fey, Fey summoning spell. Ah, okay, Fey? yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot, right? Yeah, 250 gold is pretty much everything I had. Hmm? So, so uh, that's 80 gold? For two longbows, I'll mm. throw in the arrows for free. Oh, okay, that's great. How many arrows? Mm. Twenty a bundle, I think. Yeah. Uh, 
20 away out. So there's two two arrows, so two long bows, so I'll just throw in about 40. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah. So that you don't run out of ammo in the middle of a fight. Kenis, you need you need anything, Kenis? Kenis is typing. Is he? Ah uh, yes, he is. So far, so, so no. Far. So far, do, do you have a, a bracer that can pair with this right magical bracer? Hello. I think Kenny's has all the weapons. <laughs> category. <laughs> well, uh, uh, as far as you can see, uh, Kenny's is very well equipped. He has things on his sleeves, he has things on his body, at the back, uh, and his boots, even you suspect the tip of his boots have daggers in it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, by the way, good sir, do you have a bracer to go with this bracer? I don't think so. Usually they come in pairs and... You know, I am just a normal weapon smith. Okay. 80 gold ladies. Thank you yeah. for discount. Thank you. Touching. Well, uh, is, is that all? Uh, anything else that you need? Mm, that should be all. We'll come back when we need more. Of course, of course, of course. My doors are always open. From 8 to six. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of which, how 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 is the oil, the um, the oil supply in in, in Daggerford? <sighs> Unfortunately, it has some supply, but it's still on and off. It's not consistent. We are still a short of it. Even it's... the the trade does not the trade route the new trade route does not cover the supply of oil. We do need more of that. I see. I think it, I think it's also because of lots of burning of bodies. Hmm. Okay. Well, on the flip side, we do have less need for a graveyard. <laughs> <coughs> he speaks with a certain nonchalant. It's like yeah, it's a matter of factly. Indeed. Takes cost. Well. We do have that, but ah, they I would do wish they they keep the the ashes properly. Sometimes they just leave it as it is, and the wind blows the ashes here and there. Sometimes I do not know whether I'm eating somebody or not. <laughs> I have ash on my food. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yep, yeah, yep, yep, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry yeah. Everybody, everybody was I, I, silent. I, 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 I was, uh, yeah, I was typing, I was typing to Chen Chen. Ask him oh. if, he, if he wants the potion or the jewels. Uh. <laughs> but, but I was assume it is the potion. Uh, because the jewels are very expensive. Okay. It's, yeah, better be just split it in a party. So, uh, will that be all? Yep, yep, that'll be all. Yep. That'll be all. Alright, okay. So, as you, you finish up, your business at Clex. I'll go to Leona and Morbius. <coughs> right. It's mobbing time. So you guys are making your way there and you manage to go here and what do you do there? <coughs> I'll ask Leona, do you have any ropes? I think I do. Let me check. Checking inventory. Rope, rope. Yes, I do have hemp rope. Alright, give it to me. Uh, do you want the grappling hook with it? If, if you have that also, it will be much more easier for me to hook it, for you to climb up. Yep, here you go. I give him the hook and the rope. As I receive that from Luna, I'll look around. Can I see any guards on top of the wall? Roll perception, please. 
Nine. Nine. Well, you you seem to not see anyone on a top of the battlements. Mm-hmm. It was quite early in the morning, so you actually you are not sure whether you see anyone or not. But as far as you, see, you can tell, you don't see anyone. Alright, uh, I'll wait here for a while. Then All I'll right. start walking up to the wall. You're walking on the wall? Right. Yep, straight up. Uh, as I about to reach the top, I will look around again and see if there's anyone. You are walking at a normal pace and you do not seem to take any steps to muffle or hide the noise you're making. And as you go on top of the wall, you suddenly notice Somebody is looking at you. Oi! You there! What are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm just looking the integrity of the wall. I'm, I'm a scholar actually. Uh, I'm, scholar on, uh, I'm studying on buildings and architecture. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot to be. Please roll. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll deception, yes. 18. 18. <coughs> roll a saving throw. <laughs> saving throw. Six. <laughs> oh, is that so? Yeah, this, this, this wall is fascinating. I'm quite interested on how the structure and integrity is built. Who? Commission you to do this? Actually, there's no one commissioning me. I'm just looking for some. There's someone out of town looking to build a mansion. Then I'm just looking around to see uh, some inspiration that I might find to make up the drawing for the house, for the mansion. Well, <coughs> you should be looking at the mansions at the rich place. Is there not this wall? Uh, this is a battlefront. Yeah, he, he also the, the customer request me for a wall that that is unpenetrable. Well, it is impenetrable if you have guards looking at people climbing walls. No, don't mind me. I, I'm just uh, looking yeah, and, and it's kind of weird for me looking at you hanging by the walls. Do you do this often? Uh, not really. Just the one that fascinates me. No, Leona. With advantage, by the way, because he's distracted. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, off you go then. Um, go down. Look uh, at some other. Wo- look at some other walls. All right. Sorry, bothering you this early in the morning. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what do you have there? Ropes? No, nah, just uh, measuring the height of the wall. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> and then I'll start walking downward. Huh. That's a weird wall crawler we have here. Oh god. <clears throat> yeah, oh yeah, I, I, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Yeah, uh, I'm, I, I, I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, I'll start walk down and make my way towards the street. Looking for Leona. <laughs> Hiding in a bush. <laughs> which, which I oi, could see oi. clearly. You! Why are you... What are you doing in the bush? The guy Shh. was screaming from, from on top of the bedroom. I'm doing room. my business! Well, do somewhere else. We don't have... We don't want any reggae muffin around us. Yeah? I'm watching you. Got my <laughs> one, two eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start walking on the street to the north side. I I, I get up and follow through. Uh, not the best idea we had. Well, God, I'll receive that. Let's tr- try to see another entrance that we can use. I do remember um, towards the 
uh, east that there's might not be much um, security there probably that might be a good place to kind of go and take a look see plus we can get direct access to the gates if it's around here sure but do we know the exact location of the Abra base it should be big if it's carrying supplies and caravans and whatnot. Alright, what well, it works is shot. And I'll start <coughs> walking and I did, I did not know it's around eight something. The the city is bustling with activities now. Yeah, we'll start walking towards what uh the destination that Lehala talked about and I'll we'll continue on reading my book. Showing to the guy like I'm, I'm actually really a architecture, <laughs> a scholar of architecture. Mm, yes. So yes. where where are you guys walking to? Um, we'll try around this area. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you sure? We'll take a detour, not using this path straight because I know the guards are eyeing on us. Might as well use that's much of a detour. Okay, so all the, the two of you will start going to through the hill road, and you notice the guard is still watching you, and you by this time around you walk past. A jewelry shop here, mm. and you notice the sign open is displayed on the door. Hmm. All right, and, and in small lettering just uh, below the open, it's just under new management. <clears throat> oh, all right, looks like the boys are gonna have fun here. Right. Continue so, on walking. <laughs> so continue on walking. And it took some time. Okay. In front of the temple. Okay. As you walk past the temple of Latender, you notice that it is also bustling with activities. There seems to be more something like a guard, like that is donning something like a war priest or. A crusader emblems on them around the the temple. It's heavy fortification. Uh, Leona notices there seems to be at least two of this crusader looking personnel it seems to be patrolling the streets and also the entrance. Of the temple, anything else that you uh, I'll pull my hood do? up and um, I'm already hooded, so. Yeah, yeah. so um, as we walk past by, like, are, are, are they still opening their uh, food kitchen and whatnot? Uh, right now, there does not seem to have any food kitchen there, it's just a lots of guards. Hmm, alright. <clears throat> alright, alright. So, um, we'll just keep on walking then. Okay. You are walking and walking and continue walking. Whatever the thing is, you notice they are keeping an eye on everyone. Including, as you pass them, look at people. <clears throat> just keep on reading my book. Is the guard still looking at us, or they, they are looking at everyone? No, no, I mean the that... guard, guard from the. From... No, he's just. Uh, you don't even see him by now. I think he is stationed where he is, mm. and was not uh, supposed to leave his post. Mm, okay. But <clears throat> you do notice uh, there are on top of the battlements at each places. There seems to be somebody stationed there. 
and they are doing their business milling about and looking from on top of their battlements right mm. so you will continue walking yep, yep. all right so you continue walking here's what <coughs> is into so interesting as you walk by the duke's way mm. there seems to be lots of activities in front even though the gate is not open yet there are lots of seems to be people in uh, official looking clothes or even uh, bringing carriages of things that can be traded uh, that, that's what i would call it seems to be waiting for the gates to open okay uh... and and there are also some people that is um, on one side of the road or the other side of the road there seems to be somebody that is dressed a bit differently from the people in the south coast seems to be very colorful and some are wearing armor that is a bit alien to you but i think you can surmise that is scale male this area eh? no is on one side of the road is the traders that is you can surmise is a sort coast traders mm-hmm. on the other side of the road standing seems to be foreigners mm. so car- character in nature most likely yes mm. so I they're business... are waiting for oh. the gates to open maybe ah, okay <coughs> So you you continue walking? Uh, I want to check like, uh, what kind of races do I see there? From the South Coast side, or the locals, what I call it, locals. Races from the dwarves, bringing most likely metal smith, and most likely hidden under the tarps of their carriages. Uh, there are also elves, and of course humans and some tieflings are there also mm, okay and the other side from the foreigners most of them are human looking any other races <coughs> nothing that you can see other than humans hmm okay <clears throat> um, we'll just keep on walking. Okay. Uh, as you keep on walking, I'll go to the other group, which is the trio. The trio of... amigos. A la left. And they were walking. Commander Lanover is still fighting off his two lieutenants and sergeants from trying to grab him away. From whatever he's doing. Now I think he's doing a Russian dance or something. Oh. Remember kids, what? don't do drugs. <laughs> okay. And you were walking. And you find your way in front of a jewelry store. And there is a sign what? Open. And in small lettering under the open sign, under new management. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm. All right, let's go. So, you guys go in there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you went into the jewelry shop. Uh, it has been a while. I think it's been quite a while since you were last here. I think months and months. And the last that you were tried to come in here, it seems to be closed. Now, it's open. You go there, it is quite different as you first recall entering this place. Entering this place, it's a bit dingy or something like a bit run down. But now, you saw this place seems to be more well stocked than before. Oh. And there are things that you have not seen before. There are things that... You seem to see that 
stones, precious stones. But it is well kept under the counter. But this counter is well made by a clear glass or some other things, maybe a device or something that prevent people from reaching out and taking it easily. As you you saw that, and a friendly looking uncle or somebody that is very friendly looking seems to peer from behind the counter. He was kneeling maybe before, but hearing somebody enter the, the shop, he came and greet you. Hello there. Ah, customers. Good, 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 good. Uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, uh, Camille, would you like to start? Mm, yeah, sure. Uh, we have uh, some jewels we'd like to show you. Of course, jewels, you say? Oh, by the way, uh, may I know your names? We don't do business with strangers, so let me introduce my name. My name is Roshi. Mr. Roshi? <laughs> ah, Master Roshi. Ah, no masters here. People just call me Uncle. Uncle Roshi. Uncle Roshi, we are the Midnight Hunters. I am Kamil and this is a Carl Zuma and Kenis Rex. Carl Zuma, you see? Ah, oh, that's very close to name of Kazuma in my language. It's not a coincidence. Yes, I call him Kazuma all the time. I, I, I assure you it's a coincidence. <laughs> oh, Kenis. Ah, Kenis. Kenis? Kenis? Ah, ah, Kenis. Sounds like a dog or something. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. And you are who? Camille? Ah, oh, Camille. Camille, come in. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? And I show him our two sapphires, one ruby, and the sheaf of the silver dagger. Is that all right, Kazuma? Yep. Ah, two sapphires, you say? Two sapphires. Ah. One ruby. Two sapphires. Oh, wait. You know, you know what? Let's show him one sapphire only. Show him only one sapphire first. One sapphire, right? Yep, let's show him one sapphire. First! In the <laughs> sheath of the silver dagger. Ah, okay. Yeah, the whole, the whole silver dagger, of course. Hmm. Ah, that is interesting indeed. Sapphire. Ah, <laughs> I know this. This is... Ah. It's a blue sapphire. Pity. Pity indeed. I, if you happen to come across a black sapphire, uh, that would be worth more. <laughs> I thought blue sapphire is much better than black sapphires. We'll keep a look up. Nah, so blue sapphires are the normal ones. <coughs> the rare ones are the black sapphires. Yeah. Well, can I touch it? Can I look at it? Sure, sure. Be my guest. And he pops uh, a monocle onto his eye and look at it. Huh. Ah. Pity. Ah. Well, not bad. What? Mm. Ah. Well, I can offer you 300 gold for that now. Hmm, interesting. For one sapphire? Yeah. And the ruby? Ah, I've seen no ruby. You only offer this sapphire here. Ah, okay. The Kazuma, do we? Is that all? Yeah, let's let, let show you the ruby. Yeah, ruby. Yeah, but wait. It, but huh? Inside, I'm gonna roll inside with uh, the sapphire. Yeah, I just want to check if, if, he's, if he's actually lying about the price. Well, you know he's offering a, a real price. Or uh, Camille, you, are, you know his, off his offer is real. 
But for Camille, you think that usually a trader will you offer a lower price at the first stage, and maybe they will trade up or down and room for bargaining. So three hundred, you say, is it is it good enough for you? How's my offer? If they come in. Hmm. I heard. If, I heard five hundred is the norm. <gasps> you want to bankrupt me? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's too much. That's too much. Come on. Three hundred is a good enough price. What do you think? Hmm, three hundred. Yeah, of course, maybe five hundred is a bit too much, but surely four hundred. Because that buyers are worth more than that. It's usually worth around a thousand for a transparent blue. Ah, <gasps> yeah, you think? Ah. I cannot give you. That's daylight robbery. One thousand. You will think I'm playing. Ah, yo. That's obscene. How? Where can can anyone say one thousand? Ha, ah, crazy. Ah. Uh, usually it's around one thousand. Three fifty. Last offer. Ah, yo. I will not eat for a month. Paying this. Ha. Ah. One thousand. I will not eat for a year. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, uh, people. Hey. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Carry on with the negotiation. Ah, uh. oh, oh, oh. uh, yeah. what do I? Why do I hear some ba- somebody some babies screaming? That's the. Is that's it your, mechanics? That's your. <laughs> that's your guilt. Uh, guilt. Guilt talking. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, uh, wait, Jeff. How 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 do I want to know if this is actually a good price? Huh? You don't. This thing, right? Yeah. It's yeah. A negotiation. But wait, let me he, do. You managed me... to to get him to go from three hundred to three fifty. Can I do inside inside check just in case? Uh, you have done inside. So, uh, make it four hundred. Uh, roll persuasion, please. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume uh, Camille is helping me, so I could get to roll advantage. Okay, sure. So, yeah, so... yeah, persuade, persuade. You know, why can't I press this button? Weird. Okay, let's go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm badly. So badly. Oh, well. Uh, you try to, to, to bankrupt me, hi, uh, you. Uh... I've been in this business for so long. You think I'm going to lie to you, ah? Ayo, I'm giving you a good price. <sighs> it's three fifty. It's good for one piece. You see, there's a, a, a flaw inside the sapphire. You see that? There's a scratch there. So, other people will not give you a good price. Okay, wait, uh, give me a second. Let, let me check. Uh, Jam, give me a second, huh? Okay. Do I see the do I see the flaw inside the gem? Uh, why? Why <sighs> don't you Why don't you roll? <laughs> well, there might be something, but you are not sure whether it's a smudge or a flaw inside the gem. Hmm. <sighs> okay. I. It's like, hmm, okay. How about this? Uh, how about this? Uh, this rupee. What do you think about this? No. Wait, wait, wait. Do we agree on the price for the sapphire? Let me discuss with my friend first. But in the meantime, let's look at this rupee. Yeah. Can you show him the rupee? Yep. Yep. Ah, that's a nice piece. Red ruby. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Why don't you start with this first? You know, we 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 need to start with the <clears throat> with the starters first before we go to the main dish, right? Wet well, your appetite a bit. Well, I can. 
Uh, I think I can find a buyer for this. Uh, this is more exquisite. Uh, can I look at it? Sure. He took it and then he inspected it. He uses his monocle gear to see that. Hmm, not bad, not bad, not bad. I can give you one thousand gold piece for that. This I can give. This I can give one thousand. Not for the sapphire. Okay. Why? Why? Why would you evaluate this as one thousand gold? Willing buyer, willing seller. No, no, no. I mean, in terms of quality. Oh, uh, how, how, how do you know this is worth one thousand gold? Well, it's not in terms of quality. I think I can take this off your hands for one thousand. Okay. I, you know, I have to make a profit, but it's not much, lah. Maybe I'll only make it fifty gold piece per per item. Ah, it's not much, lah. But you know how hard it is to to get it to to find a buyer for this. I can have a buyer, but it will be on my risk if I don't sell it. Right? Oh damn it! <laughs> Seems to be truthful. Yes. Uh, Hypothetically, yes, it is a willing buyer, willing seller, and he may turn it into a ju- another piece of jewelry. Right? But I think one thousand gold piece. You are asking about one thousand. Uh, just now, I'm offering you one thousand and three fifty for this sapphire. Would you be up for it? That's that, that's mm, okay. Let's me discuss this with my party members first. But in the meantime, let's take a look at this exquisite piece. And I show him the dagger with the I can't think, with the scabbard. Salam and good evening, dear friend. Please, please come closer. Then suddenly he sounds Arabic for <sighs> for no reason at all. Like, oh, <laughs> and it's ooh. You are showing with the silver dagger too. Get it with a silver dagger. This Ooh, is uh, <clears throat> this piece has been in my family for a long time, a very long time. According to my great grandfather, this piece is able to um, purify spirits and slay evil monsters. Ah, uh, old wives' tale. Really? I'm more interested in the in the material. Well, I can give you about five hundred gold piece for that. The whole, what is the material? Well, you know, silver is silver. The dagger is made of silver. But you have a piece of ruby here. There's a, something like diamond here, inlaid with. I think it's a, a leather. Well, fine leather over here. Ah, the gem, yeah. gem. The the ruby is it the same size as the one that I showed him earlier? No, it's much smaller. The much ruby smaller. that you showed is is quite sizable. How huge is this? The ruby that is inlaid on the the sheath of the dagger is very small. It's quite small. It's only for decorative purposes. Whereas the ruby that is shown is quite sizable. It's not big, big, but it's quite sizable. Big. Yeah, it can turn into a, a ring or a pendant, a big ring or a pendant. Can get millions of this. <laughs> Maybe can get more. Yeah, don't think so much, lah. The more you more. think, the more greedy you are. I, I I offer everything. Let's see. Okay, he he took out a device that seems to be like made of um, things, the uh, beads that's on uh on a stick, and then he that make lots of the chak 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 chak. I think you thought of it as an abacus or a chapwa. Okay, everything, Ooh. all all three. Two thousand, that's a good deal already. Two thousand gold piece, three items. Deal. You see, this is originally is three fifty. That's one thousand. This five hundred. You are gaining hundred and fifty gold piece with a deal. Okay, alright. Two thousand gold piece. Hmm. Chat, what do you say? Hey, chat, chat, chat. Come here. What do you say? Eh, hey, sound good. Sounds good, eh? Yeah. Give me a second. Let me think. 
That's a lot of money, you know. Uh, should we just get the our second? Yeah, you appraise. know, just appraise. If you don't yeah. sell it, just appraise. Get it appraised. I think some people can use it for magic one. Point. Good point. Good point. It's, it's hmm. We we need to consider this. Uh, thank you very much for. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, may I know what's your name? Oh, she. she. <laughs> told you before, you are a little forgetful, huh? You yeah. you hear two thousand gold piece, you are forgetful already, huh? Ah, you see. The 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 second sapphire. It's okay. Uh, you know what, Mr. Oshik, we we uh, I need to discuss this with my party members. But if you are interested in uh, buying the in buying this dagger, since it's mine, let's go with seven hundred gold piece. Would that be okay? How much? Seven hundred gold piece. Would that be okay? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. It is no. uh. No, 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 not a good deal. It's Harry. a hairy, it's a hereditary item from my great grandfather. Well, uh, I, I think you should inherit. You put it as an inheritance for your offspring, then. Ah, seven hundred. I. Okay. Okay. Uh, change that. Uh, change that. Come here. Let's let, let's pursue him again. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Seven hundred can lah, yo. Can one. This thing is very worth it. Ah, damn it. Ah! Goodness! No, uh, I, no, I don't no. think ruby people use for magic. No? Yeah. Diamonds, I heard yes, unless we want to trade in. No? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. It's not good, I can't say it's not Nope, no deal. No deal, ah. Uh. Yeah, no. It's not, no, it's not. Well, why don't you take this and stick it up? Something lah. You can do it for killing. <coughs> five hundred, I offer you. Okay, I can go at most five ten. Ayo, cannot lah. You know, you know the uncle from the. Okay, give me this. Just give me. Uh, let me do this, ah, huh? Jim. I'm gonna roll, roll. Do my all my awesome roll here. Not persuasion anymore. <laughs> no, definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. I'm gonna do this. My persuasion always sucks, but this is always good. <laughs> mm. You you sure? Uh, the uncle, the uncle from the weapon shop told me this at least worth you know eight hundred gold. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. You sure? You sure? You oh. sure? He told me this is worth at least eight hundred gold. You know, based oh. on how intricate craftsmanship this is, how wonderfully crafted and everything is. This is not craftsmanship that you can get. In any streets, right? Am I right? And this is looks, what he told me. Yeah, he looks at that. Then he looks. He he relooks again at the the sheath of the dagger. The dagger, the intricate see of that. Ah, yeah. I think you should sell it to him. Yeah. Eight <laughs> mm, hundred. If he wants to take it, ah, he can take it. Yeah. Well, five, you know, five, five, five ten for me. Five ten. I huh? I I believe he he says that to you, but ah, I cannot have yeah. that. Ah. Yeah, but you know, but you know what? I like you, Uncle, and that's why I'm gonna offer this for you. So hunger ringgit, so hunger go. Um, yeah. So hunger go. Five ten. So hunger, come on. You try to persuade me. I'm not buying. If you want to sell it to the weapon shop for eight hundred, he wants to take it. I go ahead lah. <laughs> but I can go up to five ten only. Oh well. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. That's that's the case. Then let me go and talk to the weapon shop owner, no? since he's offering me eight hundred gold for this. Uh, have a good day, sir. Yeah, lor. What to do? Yeah. Uh. And I slow, uh, slowly walk out the door. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Bye then. Come again. Thank you. Come again. All right. So the three of you. Uh. We we'll leave the jewelry store like that. Mm. What do you think, Azuma? Ah, I think it's something. Something he's hiding from us. Huh? It doesn't sound very trustworthy. Mm. Ah, we can always check with someone else. Lady yeah. Iliaka, Nipska. Yeah, let's get a second opinion. I think Nips might know a better jeweler around here. Sure. Ah, by the way, I need to stop by the bright, bright play. The what? Bright play. The the bright blade. 
Oh, the magical, the magical weapon shop. Hmm, maybe the guy knows knows something about this dagger. Let's go. So you, go. so you will be making your way to the level private. So as you walk past the temple of Lathander, you saw crusaders. Uh, seems to be patrolling the the side of the building. It seems to be looking see? at anyone, and everyone. Did we see someone climbing climbing walls? Uh no. You do not seem to be see anyone climbing walls. Oh, oh well. Uh, for the walls you see is very it's like newly painted, painted white, and it seems to be lots of people milling around. And as you can see from the uh, that, DM, can yeah. could, would you say that the dagger we tried to sell is a jewel encrusted dagger? The silver is there. The jewel encrusted is the sheath of the dagger. So it counts as a jewel encrusted dagger. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Go on. Go on. All right. That's it. So you will make your way towards the devil's bright blade. Yeah, bright blade. Okay. Oh, jewel encrusted dagger is one thousand gold. Hmm. <laughs> God damn it. The other party members who is trying to make their way to this side, and you are there, Leona and Vincent Morbius. It's morning time. As we keep on walking towards our destination, I will have a look around on the walls to see the room. Patterns of guard, or if there's any like uh, loopholes that there's no guard station there. Okay, why don't you roll perception? Investigation, up to you. Uh, I'll help. Ooh, roll another one. Let's see. All right. You are very consistent in your in your effort to see whatever is happening on the walls. Yeah, lor, tadi dah kena kantoi. Well, what you can see is that there are people many on top of the battlements. In your previous exploit before, you okay? Uh, can you roll a history? Morbius and also Leona. All right. Wait, wait. Leona, Leona, Leona. You don't. Mm -hmm. Wait. Why? Why does Morb? Yeah. No, no, no. Sorry. Morb, Morb also don't. Oh. Both of you are not there before. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you saw people. You see, uh, all of them are there. Uh, as per usual, is a battlement. There are people walking, on top of there, peering down. In and out. Oh, forgot this. These are two new characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Both of them. Can I see? There's any like gaps which there's no people looking down or guard station. Well, you notice the the battlements is quite straight, and even if there's any any gaps in terms of being men or not. Some people can see from straight if there's anyone doing anything very suspicious. All right. Uh, because you don't have the advantage of the high ground. I have no high ground. <laughs> I have high ground advantage. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. <laughs> and we keep on walking then. Mm. But one thing I do remember is that um, Felix came out of this hole. Uh, that's what he told me before. <laughs> I think yeah, that, that's why he came into the like for in when I met him. <laughs> True. Yep. So what do you do? Continue up towards our destination, I guess. Mm -hmm. Some is reading my manual. <laughs> well, I'll keep an eye out and see 
uh, patterns and gaps in the guards um, uh, guardings. Well, you seem to okay. One thing that is of interest to you, there seems to be more people, more guards that is concentrating along this side. Hmm. Mm, all right. That's... Because the rest seems to be well spaced, but it's very tightly spaced in between one after the other on <coughs> this portion of the wall. Hmm, I'll point that out to Morb and ask, do you think the gate could be at the front? Hmm, that would be probably the reason why. Because... If they are teaching to get there, they would really want to have more guard there. That's true, and that would limit people's movements towards just the courtyard instead of the back. Hmm. Tell you what, I can go have a look off the gate, and later on we can study at the inn or at the farm. farm. Yeah. 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 I, I think that's a better idea. So let's forfeit this plan for now. Uh, let me have a look for a while. For All right. Look at the gig. So what I will do now is using my flexible casting, I will turn three sorcery points into a level two spell slot Ooh. Ooh, okay. and then cast invisibility onto myself nice all right that is up to one hour right and then i'll haste my way towards this location walk straight out the walls and try to avoid much of the guard as possible and take a look see I just want to look at the umbra gate then you almost can can hear a tune playing inside your head ten 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 as you stealthily made your way uh, up the wall, you managed to learn from your mistakes about being slowly, intently, and carefully made your way up the walls. And you inch your way upwards while leaving your friend down there, hiding behind the bush <laughs> or whatever foliage. I'll hide! I'm in danger! You try your best to remain quiet, as quiet as possible, and as stealthy as possible as you make your way. You can hear people murmuring up above you as you get closer to the top. And most of them, you can almost hear what they're saying. And then you can hear something like, I have to watch this people milling around. Ah, uh, lots of traders, but ah, uh, these foreigners. And as you make your way up, you manage to see on top of there, even though it's more tightly spaced, guards being placed there. Some of them are looking upwards, some of them are looking inwards. And you saw. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> you saw something made of stone that seems to be encasing a portal. And can you re roll a history check? All right. Okay, uh, 
Morbius, can you go into the split party channel? Alright. Oh, no. <laughs> Whispers. Oh no. Okay. So while they're gone, we take a break. Have you guys heard of um, hey. One D&D? Yep, yep. I saw it pretty awesome. Just the name. It's it's interesting. I I I wonder what they're going to do. From what I from what I understand, they're just going to kind of update the uh update some of the game, but still keep a fifth ed. Yeah, mm. it seems to be updated rules, uh, and I think online content. Yeah, I I think they they hit that the. Uh, Roll twenty is taking their lunch money, so they're trying to um, get get it back. What one thing I do like, or what I, one thing I do, um, yeah, like is that uh, whenever you buy a physical book, you also get a digital copy. Oh, that's good, huh? Yeah, I mean that is that is always how they should be be uh, been doing it. Like you buy a physical book, and then you get a digital copy for free. Yeah, that's what you should have done early. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, <sighs> it, 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 it's it's. Uh, I mean, now I don't know how how uh, because if people already bought the book, are they still going to get access to it or not? I mean, <laughs> to, uh, like you you buy the whole set for almost three hundred bucks and then you don't get something like. Hey, Leona. Yes. Hey, hey Leona. Hey, Norman. Mm-mm. Later, later, we're gonna find you and we're gonna go back to the jewelry <laughs> shop and. Then... Let you work your charms, huh? Okay. So, I, I I told you guys before, uh, my my persuasion rule sucks, yeah. but my deception rule is awesome. <laughs> yeah. See what happened? Three persuasion rules all suck. Deception rule twenty straight away. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let, let, uh, let me. Uh, I, I'll... I I I'll need you to do the persuasion. Yeah. Uh, the but I, I I may need you to not be with me when this happens because they already know who how you look. So there's. Also, the dagger I cannot sell. Uh, the dagger. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, because the, the rope. Oh, God. <laughs> that one on its side. Yep, yep. Uh, so, eh, yeah, um... Today, today's oh. rules are shit. <laughs> yep. Uh, like I was saying, um, the dagger is unique, so I can't really sell it. The sapphire and ruby, probably. So, we'll see yeah. how. Unique? What do you mean? Yeah, it's that it's a unique item that no one, not many people carry around and selling it. So, like, if I were to sell it, he will not take it for one k we one one k or near that num- number. He still will sell it for even lower, probably. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how. Long. So we'll see, we'll see. It, it might be interesting. We just have to wait and see. Yeah, because from from what I, from what I checked, it seems to be at least 500 gold. What? The dagger? Sapphire. Sapphire. Plot is around like 500 gold, I guess. For mm. Leo, you suddenly sense some things, some sound that seems to be coming towards you. And... You thought you know where it's coming from, but actually you have no idea where it's coming from. Oh no. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, Suddenly uh, a disembodied voice sounded to you. Uh, okay, um, back to the inn? Because, uh, because your friend is still invisible and then suddenly he's talking to you. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, back to the inn? Um, I, I, I don't see you, so I'm guessing to the end then. Yeah, I think that's much more safer than the farm. Alright, so um, I'll walk toward... Uh, since I got no idea where it is, so I'm just going to walk through Wall Street and head towards the... to Daggerford Inn. Alright. So you'll be walking towards that. Okay, let's go to the tree, the trio. Let's go to the first bright blade. The first bright blade. There you go. All right. So while this thing is going on, the trio of you, for Camille, Carl, and also Kenneth, is going to the first bright blade. And 
you enter this well by this time the town is very much alive and there is, seems to be lots of trade and commerce going uh everybody seems to be intent on doing business and doing their, their way and master devil is open for business ah master devil ah uh, and i show the receipt for uh the silver arrows remember last month of course oh seems to be quite a while uh you why haven't you returned in three days Ah, you know adventuring takes some time uh, well you know there is a storage fee for keeping your wares oh my god how much uh, well let's see it's just arrows but there is still a cost what's keeping your item safe <sighs> let's just say about uh, a silver piece a day that will be about 30 days so uh, <laughs> I don't it's about three gold piece for that I know the item is cheaper than that <laughs> but we we do our best to keep your item safe and in tip top quality you know we have to maintain the fletchings and also to ensure that the the, the arrows are moisture is kept in order not to crack when you're using it can I at least check the quality and the amount of the arrows, the silver arrows? I am insulted by your insinuation that we do not know how to keep our quality. But here, <laughs> he put your items in front of you. See, we take good care of everything. And I check the amount and quality is all there and the quality is as he has mentioned the fletchings were a uh, well tender well was well kept uh in fact it's almost shiny the the fletchings i mean the they use the the feather so it's almost like combed and the arrows are sharp silver tipped and the wood arrows mm -hmm. the wooden arrows are very well kept it's not even cracking and it seems to be very very steady how many the right amount that you have put in uh three gold pieces worth of silver arrows how many arrows dm mm. what the initial cost is for two silver, two gold piece for twenty arrows. Ah, all right. Ah. So you have twenty arrows in front of you, with three gold piece for to storage costs. Total of five gold then. All right, five gold. Mm, sure, fair enough. Uh, here's five gold. Uh, thank you for the twenty silver arrows. Ah, uh, by the way, uh, I show him my braces on my right arm. Can you make something on my left arm? You put your right foot in, your right foot out. <laughs> mm -hmm, and I check it all about. <laughs> well, <laughs> usually it come in pairs. What happened to one the, for to the other one? Ah, uh, you know, adventuring. You find one half, you find the other half. Then and you poof. take it all about. <laughs> well, you do the hokey pokey, and that's what it's all about, right? Mm -hmm. he, he lost his decorum as an uh, aristocratic uh, merchant and seems to be having fun. <laughs> and then he he regained his composure. Oh, well, yeah. uh, well, truthfully, truthfully, we we had a horrible encounter. Uh, that's why we were not able to make it the month. Uh, well, we almost. We almost uh, did not survive it. So yeah, it's, it's not intentional. You know, my friend here did not come pick up the arrows, but we were in, we were doing some quests for the town, and unfortunately, it, it, it caused us uh, to be in a lot of danger. 
Uh, this this oh. here is what remains of of our treasure. I'm, our equipment. I, I, I'm sure it is a fascinating story. Mm. But we yeah. are in we are we at Devils. We are a place of business and of top quality. Well, well, to your friend there, you you asking that whether a piece, another piece of bracelet can be crafted and enchanted. To complete your collection, is that what you are asking? Yes. Okay. So, I think it, an arrangement can be done, but it does cost a lot. An estimate would be. Well, it would usually cost, including the enchantment, for about eight hundred gold pieces. Mm. That's for oh. a full set, right? Well, you have one. Uh, this is for the other one. That's this is to complete it, and then we have to realign both in order to gain the full impact of the enchantment for you. Otherwise, it will be imbalance, if I may mm-hmm. say so myself. So I think just eight hundred for. The enchantment and also the attunement and alignment for both braces. You have one. We can construct another one, custom, for you. Even to the, the to the design that you wanted. Engravings and all, and mm-hmm. also the enchantment. Would that be something that you have in mind in order to complete your collection? So your current offer would be eight uh, hundred gold over how many days? Well, it would take some time. Um, the best I can estimate is about at least at least two weeks. I see. You you know the the eight hundred gold piece covers. The the express effort to construct it as fast as possible. Otherwise, it can be seven hundred and fifty. But then again, it will take more than a month. Knowing us, so, <laughs> so it, mm, it, it is your choice. Would you need the the this current bracer to work to work on it or no? Uh, no, I think we do have the specs and the specification and template for a braces. I may I, may I see the braces? Can I touch yeah, it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. This is a braces or archery. Well, usually we do have blades here, but I think the the need to extend our businesses to matters of protection and enchantment. Actually, give us more impetus to invest in protection and maybe later armory. Well, we do have Ooh. some new supplies from trading outside. Ooh, Ooh what do you Ooh. have? Oh, I only have uh, managed to gain some stocks uh, for about. A week ago, but those are quite exquisite. Hmm, interesting. Mm. <coughs> What do you have in mind? Anything that you're looking for? Maybe I may have it in stock. We just finished our cataloging. That's why we do not have it on display as of yet. But I think you are. I some would call it. Uh, you have a right foot mm-hmm. forward. So right foot, mm. right foot forward. Interesting. That's. Do you happen to have the staff of a, of the pet keeper? Uh, the staff of the pet keeper. I believe it's a rod. Rod, rod. Sorry, rod of the pet keeper. <laughs> staff. <laughs> rod. You have no rod, 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 rod. Meaning, what if whether it's a staff or a rod? Yes. 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 You know rod. that I. You know that item is very, very rare. It's it's uncommon actually. <laughs> no, it's not. It's rare. Rare is plus two, right? That's good. No, oh, no. 
<laughs> it is not. It's quite rare. I can assure you that. Oh, really? It is. It is rare. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really rare. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm really rare. Uh, anything lightly armored? Armor, you say? Anything that you have in mind? Mm, like the one I'm wearing now? Yeah, what are you wearing? He, he looks at you and looks at all your disheveled uh, armors. I have studded leather. <laughs> Except for Kenny's, he's a Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> Leather. Oh. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, we do have something. I think we have. We do have come across a new stock, a new batch of stock. Would you want to know about it? Sounds good. What do you have? It's a studded leather, but mm. it kind of is kind of glamorous. Mm. Plus one, studded leather plus one. Yeah. Glamorous, mm. but the color yeah, is purple. It, <laughs> it's very glamorous, but you know it comes from from that foreign places. The color is a bit garish, <laughs> but I think I assure you they they say it's the latest style. You have that emblem of some some plants or flowers from from there or something, but they assure you that it's very glamorous and it's very light to the touch. I see, does it look like does it look like this, GM? Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> I assure you, it's not. It is very serviceable and it's very practical. It's not that glamorous, and I don't think your your figure calls for that presentation. <laughs> it looks at like Camille up and down. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you talking about the the current price for this glamorous leather? Well, you know it's very hard to source for that, but ah. <sighs> I can give you a good deal, and hey, it's kind of hard for me to get rid of it. Well, I can let it go for thousand nine hundred. Wow. Ah, suddenly I feel very poor. Uh, perhaps after we've uh, saved the Duchess and the town, we'll come right back. Well. Okay then. Oh, speaking of intricate and you know, intricate <laughs> items, uh, I I I think this might interest you. Oh, what and is I, it? And I I show him the dagger, the jewel crusted dagger, I guess. Ooh. What do you think? Uh, let me see it. And then he took the dagger out of the sheath, looks at it. He balanced it on one finger. Perfectly balanced. All things and should be. As all things should be. <laughs> Whatever the thing is, I am inevitable. <laughs> oh no. And then he looks at the the sheath. That's <clears throat> very ha. Huh. I see. It's missing one stone. Otherwise it will be six and we have a complete Say what? Complete four. For a gauntlet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, no, no! The infinity blade. <laughs> no, uh, it's quite exquisite. No, no, I, I, I'm just joking. It's, it's quite exquisite. Uh, what do you have in mind to, for this? Are you letting go? I, I would like to hear from you as a, uh, as a man of, uh, you know, exquisite taste. I'd like to know how, how much would you value this dagger to be? Ah. Uh, if you are letting go to me, I you know I have to make a profit out of it. 
if I'm not going to use it, I will have to sell it for a profit, you know, for administrative costs, storage, maintenance, and also finding the, the market for that. Well, I cannot just sell it on <coughs> eBay, whatever the thing is. Oh no. But, uh, I heard I TikTok shop is rising. Well, uh, well, whatever you say, I, I would value it at, at about 550 gold piece. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not cheap to really, really hold something, especially over a prolonged period of time. There is also a storage cost, as your friend knows about it. I think it's 600, and it's deep. I can give you another 10 gold piece. So 560. 560? Yes. Hmm. Alright. I think that's a good idea. I think that's good. Very good. Point. Mm. Okay. Do we have a deal at 560 gold piece? Yes, I believe so. Very well then. Uh, we have a bargain. We have an accord. And then he will take it and he puts the dagger on his finger again. Yes, perfectly balanced as all things should be. Alright, so you managed to get rid of the dagger. Yep, we managed to get rid of the dagger. And we got it better price as well. Yay. Right. <laughs> Anything else? So, uh, your, your the blade talk, talk. Kazuma, uh, the, the, the guy jeweler just now, he offered how much for the blade? Huh, he ordered uh, 510 only. But if everything 2k, right? Yeah, everything 2k, yeah. Then the, the extra he charged to which item? If everything 2k. Sapphire. I, I, I suspect it's the ruby actually. The yeah, ruby caught, caught his interest more. Yeah, the ruby is 1k and then the sapphire is only 3 something plus the dagger is 5, 10. So probably it's add up for the sapphire lah. Uh, or the ruby, but we, we oh speaking of speaking of which, um, are you familiar with uh, jewels, my friend? That's not my line of work, so I'm sorry about that. Ah, okay. I thought I thought you might you might be interested in jewels since you do use uh, jewels in enchanting and whatnot. Oh well, not all jewels are worthy of bearing an enchantment. Could you I take a look? We I um, we should take take a look at this. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I I show him the ruby and the sapphire. Uh, sapphire, mm, it's a blue sapphire. It's a normal sapphire. A ruby is quite sizable. Um, can I take a closer look at this? Sure, sure. And he took out two monocles, so both eyes. Oh, even better than Master Roshi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Master Roshi only one monocle. <laughs> he look at it and then, um, not bad, not bad. Ah, not bad indeed. Well, I think the Sapphire, I would value it at, oh, about 300. And I think the Ruby is about five, 550. The Ruby is 550, yeah? Yeah, but it, it is not my line of work, and I don't keep things that I cannot uh, sell yes, for yes. for business purposes because I would be short of cash while having a stock. Yeah, of things that I cannot sell. Well, no, 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 no worries. We just I just wanted to hear from your opinion about this, since you know, in your line of work, you probably yes, came. I, I I deal with uh, weapons of the finest quality. Yeah, and just some. Glamorous leathers, and yeah, and, and, and not look. as glamorous as you as you describe it. it and <coughs> I'll add that yeah. to my wish list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just wanted to hear opinion because, as you know, there you came across a lot of uh, weapons with jewels encrusted on it. So yeah, just want to hear your opinion, Thank your you. professional yeah. opinion. Thank you. Sure, and yeah. don't don't forget to pay for the arrows. We'll pay for the arrows. Five, How much? Five gold. Yep, yep. Five gold. Here you go. Sure. Five gold. Thank you. So, and then uh, he gave 560 gold piece to Carl. Okay. 
because you gave him something that he is interested in. Yeah, I thought so. Since he wanted to pay a thousand for Chen Chen's uh, <laughs> Eglaron sword. <laughs> we didn't take the bait. Yeah, actually I thought, I, I thought, I thought he, it would be worth more. I thought like 800 gold, but yeah, never mind. 560 is fine. Well, oh. uh, overhearing that, he says, you know, we do have to have to, as a business, we are not yeah. in the business of shelling out cash and then keeping... Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no! It's it's just it's just a uh, it's just a talk with my party members. You know? uh, yeah, yeah. they 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 are they're not as un as understanding as me. For personally, for me, I understand business. <coughs> Don't worry. Oh, uh, speaking of which, uh, do you do you happen to have the rod of the pet keeper? The rod of the pet keeper. Uh, let me go through my catalog. Uh, are you sure it's a rod and not a staff? It's a rod. It's a rod. But I can show you my stuff. <laughs> and he looks through that. Well, it is a very rare item. I have one being offered to me, but for quite a very, very expensive price. How much is it? It's very rare. It's more than I have an appetite for oh good lord how much how, how much would it be we are just curious wow i was i was offered to to have it for at least twelve thousand gold piece so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah i haven't had it in my collection but i know it's one of the items that's being offered for sale holy cow that's twelve thousand for a rock pet keeper Jesus. Yeah, spell slots are expensive. Yeah, but it's, but it's just an uncommon item. <laughs> oh. oh, it's not. I assure you. I, I've i been assured that it's a very uh, rare item. But it's, it's very rare. I understand. It's, it's very rare. <laughs> oh my god. In this Tough realm, thousand. it's rare. <laughs> Wrong realm. <laughs> oh, the, oh. Is it a pet keeper plus one or is it plus four? <laughs> Okay, anyway, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and Kenneth, would you like to buy anything? Yeah, would you like a silver weapon or something? <coughs> He's good. You, you don't want any silver arrows or whatnot? Hey, Kenneth, what melee weapon you use, ah? Uh? All you of use, them. Dub, use two short swords and... One great uh, sword. <laughs> um, because I have a long sword, plus one mace, plus one hand axe, plus one unless uh, we want to sell for the party fun. So, let's keep the weapons. Uh. Those weapons are rare. Mm -hmm. uh, one guy died using it. <laughs> in, case, in, case, in case we we got in case one of the characters die, we can have a new party member with plus one weapon. <laughs> Imagine Ken is using all the plus one. Weapons. Yeah, okay, it's interesting. Battle. Yeah, interesting, okay, Kenneth. We might need to. We can get you some silver arrows. Remember to pick them up after three days, ah. Huh? Well, yep. uh, the world hearing this saying that. Well, we we can have a uh, storage services for your unused items, so that in case uh somebody can park their weapons for us. But of course, there is a. A service fee for keeping your storage fee for how keeping much? your stuff. How much? How much will it cost? Oh, well, it it depends. If you want it for the long term, then we can come to a deal. If that's what you have in mind. How much would it cost to rent a long term storage? Well, I am working on something. It's it's a storage that can be accessed at several places I was told. yeah well you can store it here with the payment and then I was assured that a similar chest will be placed somewhere else of your choosing and what? you can retrieve it where you want it Ooh. interesting Ooh. Uh, Ooh. yeah I was told that this is uh, a latest thing that they can Conjure up. Um, 
I think so. I think they use a certain portal in order to store it and then retrieve it somewhere else. Okay, I think. And the ballpark cost estimate would be. I will have to get back to you on that because this is quite new. Let me try it on my items, some of my items first, because assurance is our mark of service. We don't want to give you something and then later you come to us and claim that your items were lost. Yes, indeed. Uh, hmm. If that's the case, um, if you have a quotation, uh, just leave it at the Daggerford Inn. Um, address it to us, uh, the Midnight Hunters. My Daggerford, I just leave. Yeah. Okay. Very well. Uh, yes, we are. We are one week into testing, and let me try to to see whether it is really safe, as per what you have mentioned, and then it's easier for storage and retrieval at any one one time. And you know, he motions to your friend over there, Kenneth. You don't have to lug everything on your good self all around. And he seems to be like a. A walking dark steel colossus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, he is up to the. I don't even see his teeth, but I would imagine he has jagged teeth for biting. <laughs> yeah. You see all that, and then on that, and then there's certain something on his knee pads that can maybe shoot like a shot bow or something. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Yep. Okay. So if you, if you want silver arrows, we we can get them for you. So just let just let us know how many you want. Huh? That's like three gold for twenty silver, right? Well, no, it's twenty. Two yeah, gold. Uh, two gold. Okay. How how many you want, Kenneth? Let, let's you know what let's 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 just go for sixty. Can you make sixty silver arrows for us? Sure. <sighs> we can have that for six gold piece. Okay. But it, it will take some time. I I think it will four days. Uh, give me an additional. Give me an additional twenty for crossbow bolts. Uh, give me forty crossbow bolts. Ah. Forty crossbow bolts. Yeah, you know Divert, the the, the, the cost is on the yeah the cost is on the tip. So forty that will be about four gold piece. Sure. So, so total, total and gold ten? piece. Sure. Yes. I I pay at once, So ten gold piece, uh, and then Camille is paying five gold piece. Yeah. But you you gain five hundred and sixty gold piece. Yeah. This right. yeah this one this one goes to party fun. I I'm gonna get arrows for Leona. Uh, who else use Chen Chen, and also our also Camille. You might want to use it. Yeah. And Kenny mm. as well. Silver yeah. arrows, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, I, I, and I take it you are interested in the the storage is not portable, but the chest can be placed anywhere, and and you can have access to retrieve it. Of course, that sounds yeah. interesting. Yeah, it is. It, it is new, and I think I can give, quote you something a good price for the storage fee. I'm just curious, what what is there any security measure, so that if any person. Just not any person can just like go and take take up your items. Well, of course there is. Um, okay. Um, you know what? Is, the, the, like I say, assurance is there, and also insurance is given, because you the know, cost of subscri- of of subscribing to that service also <laughs> includes insurance. Nice. Yeah, okay. Subscribe to YouTube Music. Yes. Yeah, subscribe to. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, other than that, real uh, wallet, e wallet. Yes, yes. <laughs> other other than uh, access to your weaponry, uh, your items will be safely placed and accessed by you alone. If not, there will be consequences. Consequences for the intruders and interlopers that wants to steal from you. Oh, Maybe he will great. be eaten by he will be eaten by the chest. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, that I think that's all. Any you guys want? Want did anything else? 
I'm good. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. I will send the quotation to, as per your instruction, to the Daggerford Inn and see whether you are interested. And being uh, one of the first adop early adopters, we may or even offer you a good discount for that. That's great. Remember, anyway. always get in early. Yeah, early, adopt early adopters discount. Yeah, somebody call it like a Kickstarter. I have no idea why you have to kick it to start. <laughs> Mm. We'll see how things go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Diamond hands, yo. Diamond hands. Yeah, what happened to the, those NFT? <laughs> <laughs> the cryptocurrency. <laughs> Alright, so anything else uh, that, that fancies you? Are you sure so. you are not uh, interested in the glamorous studded leather? Not at the moment. Not for me. GM, the Perhaps question. We how does it look? Else. Yeah, you how does it look? You want, me, yeah, you yes. want me to describe how, how it looks? No, show, sure, just show. That would be much more okay. funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering, how, 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 how does it look like? Is it a kimono or is it what? Or no. Is it, is, it, is it the lingerie? No, 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 it's not. Or is it like okay. this? Uh, It's more like... Uh, okay, let's see. I have it here. Copy image, I paste it here. Can I paste it? Yep. Ah, okay. That's... okay. But since it, it, this looks like all uh, all brown and black, uh, the thing is, for the pauldron, I mean, the, at the shoulder pads, it's called the pauldron. It is red in color with a certain white flower emblem on it. Mm. And... Some painted there is uh, some parts of it are white, so it looks kind of glamorous and it looks regal. And something that you, the emblem of that seems to be like a three flowers painted on the the pauldron itself, like a symbol of a house or something. Mm. And it, it, is, it is in yellow, the symbol. Mm. All right, all right. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Which is why Ooh. it looks glamorous uh, by the standard of the Sword Coast. That's why it looks glamorous and garish at the same time. Mm. <clears throat> mm, intricate. Well, I will keep this in mind, but if I manage to sell it, then uh, tough luck, I will see. Yeah, probably not, not at the moment. For sure, for sure. Well, anything else? I think that's all that's for all. now. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a pleasure doing business with you. As always, my friend. And you went out of the shop. Yep. And uh, uh, once we get out, I told Camille, ah, oh, man, I feel I'm very poor. Despite all the inventory. Mm. Uh, we spent all the money. No, but you know, despite despite the uh, you know, eventually we still we still need a lot more money to just buy any good any good items. Oh, you never know. We might just find some random magic item. Yeah. And you know what? What, what? Any else? Anywhere else you guys want to go? Wanna go play house? Hmm. Wanna go play house? Do business. Hmm. I'm actually wanted to go. Let's check out the merchant kill. Um, maybe there's something there. All right. Let's go. Dum, right, dum, so, dum, dum. so you are going to the merchant's guild. Yeah. 
We're, right. we're, we're already near there, right? Yes, very near. Yeah, I should just go to Machinsky and see. Okay, and I'll go to the other party, which is uh, the two-man party, who's taking a very scenic route through Wall Street. Uh, are you going to the Fields Lane or Tanner's Way? Uh, let's Before... see. I think this is Sleep of an Alley. Okay. So you will go through the alley. Uh, to have that. And you manage to see to the marketplace. And this building before this, okay, let's see. Um, well, you are not here before, so uh, there are a lot of activities uh, that seems to be centered on this building right now. And the marketplace is a very lively place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and there are some people that is seem, seems to be uh, peddling and buying new things. Uh, it seems to be like a new kind of grain that's white in color and brown in color. It's not wheat or it's not barley. Uh, maybe it's something else. But hmm. people are trading and buying things from the market. Uh, it seems to be recovering from the previous near catastrophe of uh, people leaving the market. And finally, you managed to find yourself in front of the Daggerford Inn. I think we mentioned we want to head in, right? Yep. Uh. I'll straight walk into our room. Since I'm still invisible, I will straight head into our room. I feel the force pulling me. <laughs> Alright, so you are going there and then you went into the the your room and then mm -hmm. what do you do? Uh, we are in I'll dispel the invisible spell. Making myself visible again. Okay. Right. And then I'll as uh, we are setting down uh, at an empty space I'll create a silent image of the Umbra Gate and show it to Leona. Uh, I'll take a look, see. So you managed to sneak in and check it out? I managed to check what it is. So this is what they are calling the Umbra Gate. And GM, what do I see? Uh, okay. Uh, Speed to party. Speed party channel. Lol. BRB. Ah, ha, ha. Alright. We are here. Alright. So you two are there. It looks like a, a gate that is, in, is something almost circular enclosed by stones. But inside there is... Okay, hold on. Uh, it looks like. Okay. Okay. How do I show this to you without revealing to uh, PM? PM directly. All right. So it is something like uh, a portal that is stuck and twirling with a nexus at the center oh i think i know what you're i think i know which one you're talking about give me a second let's see if we have the same idea if we do uh we grow up with the same thing uh pm pm pm, PM, PM. Uh, let's see let's see let's see message yes message the gm there we go Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. But instead of that, uh, mm. it is a uh, swirling vortex. Okay, I'll uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp. Okay. Instead of that in the center, mm -hmm. it looks like this. Ooh. In the center. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, okay. It's... So for audience at home, it's something like. This. Oh no, picture so blur. 
Oh, okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. For, for the two of you, it looks like Stargate, <laughs> but with a swirling thing at the center. Mm. So do you manage to find out what the structure is made of and what's powering it? That I do not. I just see what it looks like. And then that is, this is what I get. The the structure, I think it is made of stone. I'm pretty not sure what it is. Mm, okay, I mean, what you gathered so far is already good. Hmm. Tell you what. Hmm? I have counter this a similar portal like this when we are back at the cave. Really? Really? No. Mm-hmm. That, that is not until I got chased by the shadowy thing out of it. The one, the that, one that ate the um, wolves and bodies? Yes. Huh. The structural integrity of the Arkean signature is about the same. That is fascinating. You would have thought that it would be something else, but... Hmm. For all in all, I think it might have some connection, but we need to dig in a lot more to know. Alright, I agree on that. I have a feeling that I might have seen something similar to this way back when. But I'm not 100% sure. That is troublesome if the technology spreads around. And... You have to wonder who came up with the idea. Is it the Duchess or is it uh, Lady Amelia? And if it's Lady Amelia, that is troublesome. I do not know of the person you're talking about. Oh, just some rich lady who has powers to do stuff. But still, <clears throat> that's something to be worried about yeah uh, there's some things also I need to look upon this stuff but we can do it when we have much more information later on yeah let's just hope that whatever we do in the future it involves getting more information on this gate it is very annoying hmm by the way, Jim, what time is it now? By now, you have spent a good several hours, so I think it's about 11. What? Really? really? Only 11 a.m. Uh? Yeah, 11 a.m. Uh, I need to take... Uh, I need a long rest. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm with him on this one. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. And, okay. And then, after that, let's go to the main... All right. Check. All right. All right. <coughs> Hello, we're back. Oh. Okay. As. Okay. This is the same. About the same time, the two of you are. One party is going about the business at in front of the Merchants Guild, and another one at Daggerford Inn, and for the da for the Daggerford Inn. Uh, as you are taking a re almost taking a rest, you hear a knock at your room. Alright. And you hear the, the voice of uh, Master Lionel. Uh, excuse me, uh, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, Master Mistress Leona, are you there? I opened the door. Oh, hi. Oh, I didn't see you come in. Ah, okay, anyway. Uh, I, I think I have a, a, a message from Master Nibs. Oh. Uh, si saying that there's uh, something urgent that needs to be tend to at your what? your farm, your, at your property. I think there is something that's happening with the villagers near you. Oh. I, I lean into um, Morb and say. I think this could be something to do with the leaves. Uh, 
but uh, let's let's check it out. All right, and uh, at the same time, uh, the other three that who are at the in front, almost reaching to the merchant's guild, and there seems to be some some kid running towards you, and I think one of more kids, one coming from this side and another coming this side and they were rush, running 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 and one of them was screaming ah, I think it's them and they came and talked and saw Carl and Camille and Kenis and say oh hi hello hi uh, are you the midnight hunters uh, mm-hmm what's up uh, I I have a message from Master Chen from your your farm saying that you need to be there there's something urgent I think uh, he's talking to Nips or some somebody uh and he gave me some this message to to give it to you uh saying that something urgent has come up Oh thanks for the... I, okay. I I take a look at message does it looks like Nips handwriting Uh yes all right. It, it is Nip's handwriting. And Thank you. By, by the time the other kid that is running from the other end of that, saying, ah, you get to him first. Wanted to go and earn the reward. Ah, and he says, Master Nip's is looking for you, <laughs> saying that there's something is <laughs> going on at the... Ah, 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 I'm out of breath. Ah, <laughs> ah. Okay. to be tended. It's okay. Here's a silver for both uh, of you. Thank you. Good uh, job. Let's go. Uh, I'm going kaput. <laughs> and yeah. so the apparently the two parties received the same thing uh, at, at the same time, and all of you were summoned back to the farm. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. All right, let's go! Zoom! Along the way, I'll be reading the book. It's quite a while to to get to the farm and give you... me a second, Jim. Let me think. Give me a second, sure. huh? Uh-huh. Is it a long time? Wait. Uh, let me let me, let me see. Let me see if, if can I make, if I can shorten the time. Somehow the f- interface is weird because we got more people, so the interface yeah. is like yeah blocking blocking my view. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can turn off the avatar. How? Uh, setting turn off uh, display. I think. Wait. Wait. Which one? Which... Display. Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Display name. Pa character pop up windows too to talk. Hey, can you screenshot this for me? Yeah, I can't oh. find. But let, let, let me let me look at my spell list. Uh. Uh, you got a haste, man. Uh, not in your uh, yeah, in the setting in the main page of me, in the main page of the uh, roll twenty. Okay, it's it's fine. Uh, just case then. Yep, that, that that's all. I it's okay. We we run first. We'll 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 rush there. Okay, so you are rushing, and it took a more adequate amount of time for you to get back to your home base, your property. My token is not in the map. Yeah, right. you are. Yeah, I was looking for your token, so your token is not in there. I'll put it back. Uh, the 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 the. Is it more? My token is in the room. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, why is your token in the room? I have no idea. No, because okay. when uh, you left the game, uh, you were, your your last state was in the room. Yeah. Yeah. I was resting as well. And you saw Nips. Okay, by there, you saw Nips. Inside. Ah, you are there. Here you go. Yeah. Come. Hello, come. Hello, Nips. What, what, what happened? Oh. I I think the the villagers are afflicted with something. Oh. With yeah. what? They say that some of their the kids started to have some sickness. Mm-hmm. Uh, what sickness? Yes. This and not only the kids, some of the villagers near here have been afflicted with sickness. Oh, some of their eyes started turning black. Oh, um, have they gotten down with the sickness? 
they they have started gotten down with the sickness but what's troubling is one of the the sick kid just vomited black substance and attack her parent uh oh um describe what describe everything describe what happened sounds familiar the eyes turn black as if it is oily and is is brackish jam do i know the the, the features that nips described from yeah, the uh, spill the spell plate one of the sorry yeah, the thing is that you okay lol okay history uh, well you don't recall from your vast trove of knowledge of that but you kind of recall those description of the dark eyes like is oily black with something like a blackish <laughs> substance coming out of the eyes is almost similar to the shambling lord oh Okay. Oh, we have. Oh my God! So we have children shopping lots. No idea, as that, but it seems like the the people that is afflicted started moving away and also to where things were. I have no idea. I think it's a bit chaotic at the village now. They were people are running away and fearful of their own sick children. Right. So the children, eh? Uh, okay. So, names the body. Uh, they were disposed of properly, right? Yes, you are the one who burned it with a bonfire. Hmm. Did anybody got close to it while we were we were away? Did the children play around it or something like that? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. Because um, it was cut quite thorough, but then again, you after you left, no idea about about those. Oh, I was right. tending to some of these happy workers that is very industrious <laughs> and does not seem to want to eat or sleep. All right. Um, I'm gonna take a look see. With that, I'm gonna take a look see at the location. It was here, right? It was all here. Uh, when you start burning it, everything. All right. So I'm just going to uh, let's see uh, two things. What's that? Intimidate? No investigation. Check the area. No, I see jack shit because people are spectating around the area. God damn it! Yes, you have that. Oh, but bad. you can have canis or do a survival check or nature. Or... Uh... Jim, I gonna go survival. All right. Okay, I gonna do it with my lantern's help. He shall illuminate the way. Hey, my eyes! I see the light. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got them. I can't. I can't move them. Everything. One go. Okay, let's go. All right. Show us the way, lantern icon. Wululu. Survival check, Lulu. Survival! Survival. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's go. Ah, god damn it. Okay. Oh, not bad. Ooh. There we go. We advantage. So, 18. Alright. You saw the the body are all burned to cinder. Even uh, the bonfire was kept long enough to burn the bones to ashes. Yep, we made sure of that. All right, we you make sure of that. But one thing that you notice from your survival check, uh, you notice a dark stain on the ground. It seems to be like something oily. It's an oil. And it seems to be trailing away towards that area. <laughs> And when you are near this area, you see some small footprints. 
Oh. What happened? Hey, 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 hey. I tell this to the guys. Uh. Hey guys. Uh, I think I found something. And I point to the oil oil trail. And then the footprints. Uh, is this just the cause of what Snips has been describing? I have no idea. But I, I feel that if we actually follow the trail, we might find the culprit. Okay, with that, uh, we will end our adventure for tonight. <laughs> Alright. Ah. God damn it. <laughs> so, so basically, this this, this guy is Phyrexian. <laughs> oh god damn it, no. <laughs> so, so, so this is the Phyrexian oil. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed the... Okay, at least this is a, a session where you recover uh, and <laughs> recover. I don't think we recover <laughs> anything. We did not recover anything. Okay. <laughs> but you know, you know what? At least, yeah, at least it's good to have Kenny's here. Kenny's, uh, Kenny's join, join us next week. Then we can get to go some zombie hunting. Uh, yeah, we have a tank now. I'm sure next week we're going to be fighting. Yep, that, that's confirmed. <laughs> Well, with all of my spell spell slots are off and low HP, <laughs> uh, I'm fully. God, yep. You, you stay back. Well, at least Chen Chen is fully rested. <laughs> yep, Chen Chen is fully rested. I can confirm that. Uh, he, yeah. and, and he and he has been pumping our plants, you know, for eight hours. Yeah, so, they so grow. basically he's not resting. He rested earlier, then he go he go on, he go on and pick the plus. He's well rested, he puff a lot, don't worry. Yeah. He can only rest for four hours and then yeah. he work for four hours. Yeah, he, he he's been pimping our plants, you know. Uh but yeah, plant growth spell, let me show you this. Okay. So basically the, 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 the plants there next week will be like full fully grown. In fact it will be even better. <laughs> Alright. I will let him roll stuff. It's not going to be a free walk. <laughs> oh, come on, yeah. let, let, them, let it grow. Let it grow. Oh, if that's going to be a roll, I think I can exist because I have the same spell. <laughs> uh, no, no, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me show you guys this. Yeah. What's this? Roll 20. Plant grow. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. No. Become thick and overgrown. <laughs> uh, mm, uh, you know what? Alright, okay. Mm hmm. Enriched for one year, yield twice the amount of food when harvested. Well, in this case it will be marijuana, but you know. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> then, then you just have to cast it again, then it becomes a lot of marijuana. Rich. <laughs> even, even more potent. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to try something with the leaf that we have. <laughs> oh god. Uh, see. Yeah. With, with this party, anything is possible. You know, you know, you know. I've been talking to Camille just now. You know okay. what, what, what we're gonna do? What? We're gonna start Coca Cola. Lol. Ah. Uh, so, different plans. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But our version, our version. Okay, fine. Oh, God. <laughs> just, just get them. <laughs> the current one. <laughs> okay. Well, this. I I think this is gonna be banned. <laughs> the YouTube is gonna oh, get. Oh God. I I I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, GM, XP. XP, role play all around. Uh, lots and lots of role play. Uh, everybody, role play is really, really in character. Uh, <laughs> it's very good. At the, okay, everybody will get a 200 XP for Yay. role playing. Oh no. Uh... Okay. Uh, Camille and let's see, Camille, Rex, and Carl will get a hundred and fifty for haggling and learning of a new method of storage. Oh. Hundred and fifty XP. Uh, let's see, Leona and Morbius. Uh. You also get 150 XP. Nice. And 50 for learning and tackling and getting that information. Ah, uh, still short of 200. <laughs> Dapper. Next week will be. Next week will be good. Next week. After next week, you can 
That's super outrage blast like me. Alright, but uh, one party, okay, one party will get an extra 100, mm. which is Morbius oh. and Leona. Oh. For instigating the Grand Marshal. <laughs> <laughs> the other party <laughs> will also get 100 for instigating the Commander Lenever. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just curious what happened. What happened? What happened? What, happened? what did they do? Like, no, yeah, we're the one who started the. No, we we did the. We, we kind of started it, but what did the other party do? Like, I'm just wondering what did they say. Ah. <laughs> uh. So jab two hundred, hundred fifty, fifty, and hundred. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. You know what? Like. Um, I I didn't came in with that in mind, but it turned out well. Like what? <laughs> um, shot of hundred. Wait, 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 wait. The, the thing is, you instigated the, the commander, right? Like? Yeah, yeah. Like never. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean... that's, okay, another fifty for you. <laughs> for that, that's that, that's just weird, and you just totally. I think I think you immob- immobilized the entire. Military system for uh, the entire city. I think I, I think you yeah, just, it, it just one morning. I think you destroyed them. I think you destroyed them. It's not over. You destroyed them. Yeah, if there's a, an attack right now, everybody is everybody is everybody is squatting. So close but still far away. I I didn't do it. I tried so hard and got so far. Only fifty more. I need to level up. In the end. It doesn't do really I, I, I'll just say this. I didn't do anything. I'll just I, I just told the commander that uh he did a backflip in full armor. I, uh, and then like I could have told him that it's because of this leaf, but no, he he didn't want to listen. And then the ego. Like, but all the other, good lord, you two. Uh, I wanted to discuss with the commander on how how can we sell our our juice. No, the, the thing is, like, he doesn't even um, know what it is. <laughs> so... Right, and then we're... Champa, throw the oil into the fire again. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, he does! <laughs> Let's just hope that there's no uh, war coming through, because, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, there's still the frontline defense, so, yeah, that's good. Do you realize how, how, how hard it is to do a headstand with full armor on? No, nah, you, you you know what? Like I I did I wanted to tell tell uh, Lenever that oh he did um one handed push up with a finger. Yeah, make the image for him <laughs> doing a burpee and a back trip and then so, so doing a one handstand push up. Yep. Oh God, reminds me of Dragon Ball when Vegeta was training in the gravity pool. And then Trunks just super sign up. Uh, I'm short of 50. If not, yeah, I could. Yeah, I could. Next week, I hope. Next week. Mm-hmm. Can, can. Anyway, good job. I hope you had fun. Uh, because it's not fighting all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, can it come, come next week? We, 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 we can fight. Yeah. Next week will be fun for you. You can, yeah, uh, you can use all your I, seven swords too. In fact, in, in fact, Camille, yeah, in fact, Camille can pass you some of the silver arrows he have right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. the venomous dagger, you pass it to me later or how? Mm. No. No, oh, come on, you need to. No, 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 no the, the the other one, the other one. I'll, I'll, oh, the other the, one. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll pass you another one. Yeah, that, that's called the venom dagger, right? The venom dagger, venomous dagger. Yeah. it's very powerful. Uh, for yeah, yeah. And for the healing potion, we need to find a way to sell it because unfortunately, all the shops doesn't seem. You can't find a magic item store that we want to buy a no. healing potion. We, we forgot. We forgot. Yeah, we that. haven't tried yet. Yeah. Bright, bright blade, maybe we haven't yeah, tried. No, bright, bright blade. Uh, Dur- Durbel's bright blade only sells magical weapons, uh, because we lack the mage of the town. Uh, so we don't have access to that. So, mm. by the way, GM Merchants uh, Guild, yes, Merchants Guild has sells potions, right? Well, last you check, there may be some potions there. Uh, I think it's more for the Adventurous Guild, not the Merchant. Uh, yeah, Guild. the Adventurous Guild. I I planning to check that area out later. So, but unfortunately, we have in have encounter. So, mm, all right, cool. 
Alright, no problem. Yeah. Next week. That's for next week problem then. <laughs>